we have Zukulu playing Doro or Doro <laughs> Zeal, the Doro Paladin. <laughs> this isn't the third time we've done it, I swear. No, uh, it's we fine. have Fubar playing Dane, the Wood Elf Moon Druid. Evan is playing uh, Ancient Vane, the Dragonborn Sorcerer. We have Mika playing. I am playing Chip, the Imp Warlock. We have we have Nick playing Israel, the Doro or Azamar life cleric. Thank you. And uh, if, I think I actually did it in order, so I'm gonna give myself a clap on the back for that one there. Clap on the back. All right. And today, thank you guys for joining us here today for the Friday one shot, Friday night community one shots. This one shot is taking place in the world of Sunaru, which is my little creation that I run as well for another party. All right. You band of adventurers have adventured and are tired. Taking your rest. Persons taking watch, taking turns. Dane, it is your turn to take watch. As you're sitting there, standing there observing, you turn around and you see an envelope, a sealed envelope with wax right by the fire against the stones you see nobody come and you heard nobody hmm interesting well I guess I'm gonna just go ahead and pick up the letter if it's if there's nothing dangerous between me and it there is there is absolutely nothing dangerous between you and it got it all right let's go ahead and pick up this letter and disregard uh, any dangerous traps that it may hold um, Open it and read it. As you look at it, it looks like it's a regular letter. No traps, thankfully. Um, but on there, it does have a seal. And the seal is waxed. And you can definitely see it's, it's fresh. Probably done within the past ten minutes. As you open up this letter, it seems to be a fresh... Like, it literally looks like they, you could just smell the freshness of, of this parchment. And the ink itself. Sorry, do I recognize the seal? You do not recognize the seal. It looks like there's three people. It looks like there's three seals on top of each other. Like they couldn't decide which seal to go with, so they just stuck them with all three. Interesting. It's very messy. <laughs> so, how long has everybody been asleep? Everybody, uh, most people have been asleep for about six hours. I mean, you're the, you're the last one to take watch, so everyone has their pretty much full sleep, including you as well. Okay. Well. I'll just wait till everybody else wakes up and let them know what happened. All right. It so, doesn't seem urgent. <laughs> everybody wakes up. Everybody stretches, puts their armor on in the morning because you guys are not <clears throat> sleeping in it, I hope. No. Dragons don't need armor. <laughs> I, I'd probably sleep in mine, actually. All right. We have a person who likes to take points of exhaustion in this party, I guess. You take points of exhaustion for wearing armor while you sleep? Yes, yep. you do. Anything anything above light. Anything above light, I believe. Okay, I guess I'll <laughs> don my armor over the next five minutes. Uh, I think it's like two hours for you. <laughs> I'll, I'll assist him. We'll, I'll assist him. We'll, oh, oh we'll thank, assist him faster. thank you. Thank you very much. No worries. The birds are yeah, chirping. I'll I'll be flying around, kind of picking up pieces of his armor and giving them to him as his little familiar. I'll be struggling to, like, lift up a helmet <laughs> for him. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go over to Azeel and, and hand him this letter. It looks like things need to be cleansed, and he's a paladin, right? He is a paladin. All right, yeah, check this out, man, what I found. What does the letter say? You open up the letter the letter is shared with everybody it should be on your screen it's not showing up uh guild contract yes on the right yep i can either read it or you can read it guild. i would uh, i yeah, see you it. can you can read it cuz it's not showing up on my screen where is it greetings I... adventurers this is a guild contract for newly appointed guilds <clears throat> The town of Omar, near the city of Milfark. There is a rumor of a cave opening up, containing a tomb of Nakanda. Please go to this town and investigate these rumors. If they are true, please follow these instructions. 
And below it, you see three different hand writings. The first one is Avian Execution. Your goal is to retrieve the Lost Sword in the Kanda and cleanse it. The All Seeing Palm. Retrieve the Sword in the Kanda. Do not cleanse it. And then the Pink Prancing Unicorn. Redo the Seal of Nakanda, or destroy her and the sword. It looks like three different missions. Uh, what you on the ice want to do? Is, uh, is important. And as you guys are looking at it, you see more writing appear. And it says, please make haste. This needs to be done now. We have a bet. Ah, so we, they want to see what we shall do. We're doing this for their amusement? Would I have had any <laughs> previous engagements with any of these three? Uh, nope. Um, you guys do not have any... You guys don't recognize any of these guilds. Um, adventuring guilds in this world are kind of not really abundant. They fail pretty often because there's not enough money to keep them going, per se. Um, but the, you don't recognize any of these names of these guilds. As, uh, as you are thinking this, more writing appears. We are new. We <laughs> are new. Uh, I'd, oh, I'd, I'd like to uh, take to the skies. My my dragonborn has uh, has uh, wings, and uh, I don't get any exhaustion from it as a level 18. Uh, I have a fly speed of 30, so I just want to, uh, to survey the perimeter above and see if uh, anybody... Uh, I can make out anybody who might have given the letter, or uh, or any uh, you know uh, incoming combatants or anything. As we're just getting up, as you fly up, you see a couple cities in the in the distance, but you see no tracks, no living beings except for a few animals, birds flapping around. The bird, as it's flying, you fly up and kind of ah! and like tries to avert away from you. Uh, it looks pretty peaceful. Nothing disturbed. The bird does? Well, the bird's disturbed, but nothing else is disturbed. <laughs> Good. I grab the bird with my claws and bring it down with me as I come down to land and say, I got breakfast. I'll just let that happen because I don't know what to say of that one. <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, I, I begin to cook the bird while everybody tries to figure out what's going on. I feel... Roll me a survival check on this one real quick. Uh, now, for those playing at home, uh, some of my uh, some of my uh, numbers are a little skewed. So you may see me uh, clicking on my character sheet. You may see me uh, you may see me rolling just straight. Uh, in this case, uh, my survival uh, has no uh, any additions. I got a two to cook my bird. <laughs> you're you're roasting it and uh it's definitely like a marshmallow that's caught on fire right now here you're you're just cooking it as they're as you, the rest of the party is talking uh, you expect I, us to eat that Ugh. i mean i can do better i've done i mean i've done worse but i've i've uh, got a bad i've got a good stomach can i still eat it you can still eat it yeah cool it's just burnt it doesn't taste very uh, good i'm i'm just gonna i'm just gonna have a ration I'm an acid dragon. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> Here, let let Chip handle this. Uh, I, according to all known laws of aviation, an imp should not be able to fly, but they have yeah. little tiny wings. And I'm gonna fly up and look for a bird of my own. <laughs> I, I'm gonna hand everybody one single berry. Oh, <laughs> you're just gonna solve <laughs> as you as you fly up. You see this bird flap towards you. It's about a 20 feet long bird. Wingspan is about 40 feet. <laughs> and it's going to dive at you. Yeah. I'll take it on. <laughs> I, I just laugh and say, oh, yes. little man. <laughs> I shouldn't rename this see me... bird hunting. <laughs> you just see me like wave my hand a little as I cast hold monster on it. And it flies and it just stops in this place. Oh, oh, it's very confused. 
does it plummet to the ground? There's no, uh, there's um, no air anymore. <laughs> How does even hold the monster? Hold the monster in the air. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a it flying plummet. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, it's going to plummet. You're right, because it, it is basically paralyzed. It, you see it stop moving its wing, and it starts dive bombing, and it runs into a tree, and all you hear is just a, and you, and the I'll, I'll go retrieve the rock, and uh, good job, Mika. Who's Mika? Oh, oh. You mean Chip? Chip. Chip, Chip, Chip uh, is the Chip. character. Good job. Good job, Chip. Chip. Uh, no problem, Uziel. And I'll start uh, slaughtering the rock. Because <laughs> I'm going to guess that's what this is. I'm glad I, <laughs> yes, 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 it is. Uh, as you're doing it, you notice there are bits of wood in it that from the tree. Uh, well, while he's doing that, uh, I, I go to, uh, to Dane and Israel and say, uh, so what... Uh, where, where is this Milfark? Uh, we, we need to go, uh, we need to go retrieve this sword. Uh, so, if it says it needs to be cleansed, it might, it's gotta be evil. Retrieved, well, but, retrieved, cleansed, or destroyed. And depending well, what, on our choice, the guild of that wins? It said something about a bet, but one, I didn't see, I didn't see what was the correct choice. One one guild wants to uh, one guild wants to make it good, one guild wants to make it bad, one guild wants to make it better. See it dead. <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm gonna get a sword, but you know, you get the idea. <sighs> okay, you, well, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead. What do you think the right choice is, Uziel? You you're good with these matters. From the sound of it, this the sword does not sound good. So no. either either cleanse or either or destroy, I think is the correct is the correct option. Well, how do we know? We don't know. Uh, we've you never can seen repurpose this sword, it. Yes. It can be repurposed. I I am open to interpretation. So <laughs> we recycle in this land. You know this. All right, well, maybe we'll decide once we uh. So how do we get to the the Who knows the area? Um, um, as Dane yeah. and Israel would both yeah. know the area. I'm going to cast that ritually to uh, just take 10 extra minutes to figure it out so I don't burn a, a spell slot. What are you casting? Uh, commune with nature. I just popped it on roll 20. Um, I will tell you before, as you finish it, uh, there is a town near you. Um, its name is... Not what you're looking for. Its name does that even give you? The, does that give you the name? I just know that there's a building over there. There's a there's a small town to your east. Then there's just hills, trees all around you, and plenty of animals. Um, there's a small streams here or there, but nothing really prevalent. Um, Dane and Israel, you would know that the ta- the city of Milfark is almost directly toward the north near the. Wonders of Lake. Lake of Wonders. I guess and we should start heading north then. You know, there is a small town to the west of Milfark as well. Near the mountains. Ah. Should we uh, stop at the town before we... we For supplies before we head to Milfark? I mean, are we that low? Uh, I mean, we can always get low? our things at Milfark. I mean, it doesn't matter. Well, maybe somebody knows where this Ninkata is. Or Nakanda? Nakanda. Nakanda. Maybe they know about Nakanda. All right, so let's journey north then to the town. You guys was are, west the closer town? You guys are going to Milfark first, the city? Yeah. The, uh, so I feel like we that... should head northwest to see if we can pick up any information and then... Yeah, there's a there's a town to the northwest, I think is what, what we're referring to. So let's go yeah, to the northwest. Do you know anything about yeah. this cursed... Ninkanda. You guys come across this town. You see farms spread out. You see tons of animals in the farms. So you definitely tell this is a farmland thing. That you notice there is an inn. There's a path that's well traveled. So you can definitely tell it's a it's a path that is traveled a lot and it's going running from north to south. So you know it is a major road. Huh? As you enter, a farmer walks up to you. Oh, hi! Uh, and he sees the imp and goes, Oh, God! Is that Feral? 
No, no, I, I'm fine. It speaks, not, not His name is Chip, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, and then he sees the Doro, and he kind of straightens up. And he goes, oh, we got no problems here. No, you're fine. Okay, good. Fine, I... What can I help you with then? Um, we... for, those at, for those at home, the Doro serve as a, a somewhat kind of police force in the world of Sonaru. They are they are the ultimate paragons of justice. So uh, they, they would uh, create some intimidation. They get summoned for tasks and they complete those tasks, usually ending in death. That's nice. Uh, uh, I go up to him. I just I, I try to calm him down. Just put my hand on the shoulder. Like it's fine. You did <sighs> nothing wrong. You see him visibly relax. Um. Or just passing through. What is this thing we're finding again? I look to them. We're I forgot the name. For the sword of Ninconda. Ninconda. That's all we're looking for. Uh, who? Ninconda? Uh, is that the city? I don't know. You tell me. I I don't know. All right. I mean, is it? Are you? Is it a person? Is the person in the city like? Uh, you know it's very possible. We have like 15 people in this town, and they're, none of them have a fancy name. Nankanda <laughs> is a cursed weapon. Easy, easy, easy. Allegedly. Allegedly cursed. Uh, yeah, there's definitely no curses here. Zero. I mean, do you know of someone who could help us? I don't know. I'm uh, technically the mayor. And he kind of takes a little stance and puffs out his chest a little bit. Uh, but, uh,. No, I don't. Without, I mean, I can direct you to towns. Yeah, if you know where the town of Umar is. Oh, why didn't you say that to begin with? It's like a mining town up to the west of Milfark. It's in the mountains. It's not very big, but it is important per se. It says Mil since Milfark, but between me and you, we don't need it. We provide all the crops. We're Indeed. the one that's important. You don't let any, uh... Who's in charge of Umar? Umar? What was the question? Do you know who's in charge of Umar? Oh. There's, uh... Last time I knew, man, that was like about 20 years ago. Uh... It was Randall. Randall was the governor. And then... Well, at least that's what he called himself. He's just a chief. Uh... <laughs> and then he had a daughter, uh... About the age of, like, 15. She may be taking cars now. Okay, so I'm kind of like hovering up and down around him, looking him oh. up and down. He's gonna are, back off from you. He's, are he's are you feral? Uh, can you please control your creature, what? your pet? He's actually not. He speaks the truth. Can you put a leash on him? Huh? Can I put no, a leash on no you? Leash. No. Can you make you uh, make you uncomfortable? Uh, a little bit. All right. Well, we'll be leaving now. Thank we you should, for helping. We leave. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go. You said we're in the farming area, right? Yeah, you, yeah we're gonna uh, head west. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm just gonna take out my holy symbol and just gonna bless his fields. Just... As you say, uh, as you stand, you say a prayer. You see the green buds start to come out of the field. Oh no, Ben! What is that? By golly! Thank Thomas for this. Indeed. Let him provide, and you will provide. As you walk away, you can start to see things start to actually flower and, like, fully bud in here. You've, you've definitely progressed his um, plans for harvesting this by at least four months. <laughs> as, as we take our leave, uh, I, will, I will go uh, up in the air to scout. But before I kind of zoom up, uh, I say, uh, bless be to Matiel, which is one of the gods in this, uh, in this realm. Uh, specifically of dragons, so hopefully I, uh, so hopefully Ancient Vang can get another convert, uh, you know, on the sly. So uh, he's like, "Bless be to Matia," and he zooms up uh, uh, to kind of scout the area ahead. Uh, kids are just coming out and swarming you. By the way, are you are you hovering, Chip? I didn't hear you. Yeah, I'm gonna follow you, kind of at your heel. And are are we bird hunting again? Uh. Uh. I'm gonna eye the person. Be more watchful next time. And uh, intimidation roll of twenty. Watchful of what? I'm just walking away. 
<laughs> I just go, I just look at the guy and like mm-hmm. he he he's definitely like you can you can smell a foul odor odor coming from him when you see his pants get a little bit wet and he is now paranoid that something else is coming. He's looking down there. He grabs his pitchfork and he huddles around it like ready to stab something when it comes, but he doesn't know what he's looking out for. And then he looks yeah. at he looks at the imp and goes, "It's probably more of those bastards." Do I hear this? I'm good. No, you are all the way up in the air. Come on, Chip. <laughs> As you guys are walking through this town, kids gather around you. You guys are definitely a sight to see. There's not too many um, Doro or anything else really traveling besides humans and some halflings. Uh, I am I am circling them uh, from above, kind of like a vulture. Not 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 like in a menacing pattern, but just kind of as dragons do as they kind of circle. And that menacing pattern is what dragons do. <laughs> well, not not vulture like, more of this kind of slinking. Uh, if there was some kind of uh, book or movie, uh, perhaps uh, uh, one where where uh, small British children go to school, perhaps uh, you know it may be very similar uh, to to any such dragons that may be in there. Uh, so I've heard through the tales. <laughs> I'm just going to continue through the town menacingly as well, without uh, actually acknowledging anyone. Uh, everybody sh- starts shutting the doors, shutting their. St- they start pulling their kids in. You see them literally, Tommy, get in here! And you see them just drag them inside and just shut the doors. Um, I just, you- I, I give some of the kids a wave, and then, then they get shut in. I'm like, oh, well. It, it is now a ghost <laughs> town. Nobody is out here. Except for the one farmer who's keeping an eye on things. I'm going to ask him where the bar is. There's no bar. We're a town of farmers. Is there an inn? Technically. Uh, Could you point (laughs) us to the inn, please? He points to his house. Oh, well. I have two bedrooms. I'm not looking for, for housing. Then why would you want an inn? I'm looking for rumors. Or information about rumors. I got a rumor looking... for you. He walks over to you. He goes with me here. Samuel is cheating on his wife. Oh my goodness. I know. What? With that darn bastard. What a dog. I know. That's Samuel. Hey, also, have you heard of the tomb of Nakanda? Didn't I already answer you this already question? Talked about that. This is the mayor. This is the same Thank person that you get you guys are talking to. Oh, I thought we talked to the guy way back at the other farm. Uh, he's still technically in. Tra- he's still he's technically in charge. He's the one that's watching us mainly. He's the only one still outside in in the town. Yeah. He is both the mayor <laughs> and the innkeeper. Uzil has scared it's a very people small town. away. Same with an imp. <clears throat> uh, I think we should move on. These people don't know anything. Uh, they de- but I mean, he definitely gives you enough direction to guide you guys to the map, to the to mm. the to Umar. Oh, okay. Let's <clears throat> let's go to Umar. It's about two miles west of Milfark, maybe five, maybe twenty, but it's right by the mountain. <laughs> All right. Thanks, sir. We make our way. I don't know how to read or write. Don't judge me. As mm-hmm. as we as we journey forth, uh, do I see anything from my vantage point? You see planes. Uh, occasionally, a, a metallic dragon flies over you and lets out a roar, but they usually just go right back to Mount Ao. What color are these dragons? They're metallic, like bronze, oh, not gold. Oh, okay. All you. you Oh, whenever I, whenever you see, I see a dragon, I, I do a little, like, little prayer. I, I would actually like and, to, uh, I'd actually like to try to stop and, and, uh, get one's attention. They pay no attention to you. I am part dragon, and they don't pay attention to me. No, yes, I, do humans always talk to each other, right? <laughs> the dragons, have, the, the dragons, when you try to communicate with the dragons themselves, they seem to look down upon you as they fly away with the nose up. Just now up. Mm. Imagine the dragon noise. Because <laughs> uh, hmm. I have 
Uh, I have. Uh, I'm very good with talking to dragons. Uh, that is that is one of my things. So I would really like to get a dragon's attention. Um, uh, make a perfor- make a performance check for trying to get someone's attention. Then can can I do persuasion? Like it's it's performance. I'm tra- okay. Because <laughs> um, you're imagine you're like a runway person trying to get a plane this plane's attention. All right. Uh, you at least got to get their attention. Yep. All right. So plus three. Let me just double check. If that's the same over here. Because uh, I actually get double persuasion proficiency uh, against dragons. Yep. When, when dragons. All right. So performance is three over here. I got a five you, to perform. Well, you're gonna have advantage for that there since you are trying to communicate oh. with dragons. I'll, I'll. So then I got a natural twenty. I'll, I'll let I'll let that go over new performance as well there. Um, you kind of wave your hands and you see this ancient gold dragon come to you. Oh, what is it that you want? Uh, well, uh, uh, black dragons and gold dragons don't always mix very well, because we're kind of mm. evil and they're kind of good. So there I are no make... black dragons. I, like, kind of nod to my scales. Uh, and the, uh, You are not uh, a dragon, just a dragonling. Uh, all this was in my head, by the way. Uh, so, oh. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> so, uh, I, I try to make it, uh, kind of as quick as possible, and, and I say, um... Uh, have you heard of a of a sword, uh, the uh, of Nik- of Ninkanda? No, we are uh, new to this world by about hundred and fifty years. I know that. I'm from you, and the uh, and, and and I'm saying all this draconic, and, and I say, uh, what can you tell me about Omar? I, I think that's the name of the town, right? It's a tiny <laughs> town. It has no precious gems for me. Uh, I'd like I'd like to try to persuade him to do uh, to give me more information. Please, oh great dragon, uh, uh, descendant of Mathiel and Tiamat, tell me more of what you know. Uh, just so you, you know who Tiamat is, you know who Mathiel is. Uh, but anyways, oh, okay. uh, I I literally he don't travel over there. Dis- <laughs> he would also not be a descendant of Tiamat. He's a metallic dragon. Okay, I was trying, man. All right, <laughs> you're the one who made the dragons in this world. <laughs> so, yeah. That is true for anyone. I do not. I, I do not know this. I I know a little tiny thing, and I've heard about it. But <laughs> literally, I don't go there. They don't have shit. It's a small ass <laughs> town. I can point you in the direction, but that's it. Vane, Vane, why are you disrespecting? Why are you disrespecting this? This you cannot hear creature. him. He's in the air. Is oh, there he, anything? Oh, he flew he away up in the air. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm like 50 feet in the air, bro. Yeah. Uh, can you? Uh, do you have anything that could, uh, uh, or direct us to anything that could help our quest to find this treasure? Ah, uh, treasure. Uh, you can tell me where it is, and I can get it for you. <laughs> just where, we just need to know where to go. I I scream that. <laughs> he flutters his eyes at you. <laughs> Please tell us uh, where we need to go. If we could avoid the horrible town with no treasure, it would make our job easy. I don't know where to go past that. I don't talk to the people anymore. They are small, tiny, don't have nothing for me. I'm very disappointed. Because now, Milfark, on the I, other I, hand, ooh, they got some fine China. I mean, do, fine Milfark. Do they have swords? <laughs> do they have swords there? I don't know. They're in the mountain. I imagine they're swords. My, my my disappointment is that I have a plus eighteen to to uh, persuasion for dragons. Well, it doesn't mean it, that it's they not that you're pers- it's not that you're not persuading them. It's that Umar is so small of a town with nothing that nobody wants to deal with it. Uh, thank you, thank you for your time. Uh, if you if you have other dragon friends that can help us destroy things, uh, we we may talk later. You could find us in in Umar. He looks down at your party. He goes, ooh, an imp. Ooh, my kids will like imps. The imp is off limits, but uh, may- maybe maybe we can find another imp or something. Now do a, now do a persuasion check. Okay. <laughs> now it says nine on my uh, it says nine on my chart, but I have the staff of power. So it, or sorry, because of my draconic feats, I have yes. a, a, this. So yeah. I have uh... yeah, I have a twenty-eight without doubling. 
Okay. <laughs> he flies away. He's definitely kind of sad. Um, and, but he does look back at you multiple times and licks his chops. Hmm. I uh, I go down and kind of zoom uh, near uh, the start of the party. I say, I may have found us some help. I may not have, but I may. <laughs> we'll see later. <laughs> and uh, I do, and we just kind of. You guys spend about five days on the road, and you guys are getting closer to the mountain. You guys see Milfark in the off in the distance there. And you see a tiny smoke trail coming out of the mountains. Going along the path, it's a little bit treacherous in some of the areas. The path is definitely not one that's well-traveled. But you're going towards the smoke. As you come up, you see a small village made of about, of about five to ten buildings right around there. Um, and you see people just hustling and bustling with carts. Some people have picks. Am I able to? Uh, am I able to notice uh, where there's like a lar- large congregation of people? Uh, there's not a large they... congregation of people. People are actually working here. This is the small town, correct? This is the small mm-hmm. town. Okay. Small okay. mining. So there's not mining. a crier or anything. There is. There would be no crier here. Do I see the inn from from where I'm at? Uh, you can look for an inn. I would like to look for an inn. There is no inn. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, as I have uh, as I have flown up, uh, I see no inn, my friends. Uh, we we may be uh, in need of some more rumors, but I do not know if I can find them. I mean, inns aren't all. I mean, not all rumors come from inns. If you can uh. tell me a place, I can go and try to find it. Is there any middle-aged women on in rocking chairs in front of their houses? Uh, there are a couple uh, old ladies <laughs> on their rocking chair with knitting needles in their hands. <laughs> you see a couple halflings out there too. Uh, I approach. I approach uh, a gaggle of old ladies. <laughs> Two. Okay. Kind you approach your ladies. Kind of spiraling. <laughs> oh, well, how, how are you today? It's fine weather out, isn't it? It, 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 it is. Uh, I, was, I was inquiring if you've heard any, any weird happenstances lately. Like caves opening. Ooh, caves opening? I don't know about oh. caves opening. Have you heard of any odd happenstances in the area? Oh, hold on. She grabs what a metal device that looks like it's a uh, tube that opens up on one end and goes near on the other, and she puts it through here. Now say that again. Have you heard of any unusual happenstances in the area? Oh God, is that an imp? Oh God. He's, Have he's, you heard of any unusual happenstances in the area? <laughs> I, I don't think she's a. It's even, it's even tamed. Is. It's even tamed. <laughs> look at it. Oh my god. So who said look it? Oh yes. Oh happenstance. I don't know about no happenstance. But my darling my darling keeps on telling me there's this cool cave over in the east there on the mountainside and wanna go about twenty five feet forward, take about a left, go another twenty feet, take another right, you go twenty feet and you come right back here. I'll tell you the same thing. Thank you very much for that information. And don't worry about this particular imp. He's a a disciple of Zook. Oh, bless his God. For Did anyone that write that away, down? Zook is, a, uh, Zook is a god of the realm, so that would probably make them happy. Uh, a little girl runs up to you. Grandma! Grandma! I showed it to Timmy, too. He thinks it's awesome. But we lost someone. Susan didn't come back. She kicks the stone. She looks at the imp. Oh, my God. It's, it's, it's a, uh, a weird cat. I, I'm, I'm not quite a cat. Oh, it talks. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, though. Though, I want my friend back. 
where can find him. You, where did you lose your friend? Oh, overpass there in the town. You keep going straight out of it, right through there, and then you see a path. You want to go right on the path. I put a big, huge white rock there, so you know where it's at. And then on the wall, there's like this misty, like blackness. It just swirls. It's so, so, so beautiful. your friend was lost in Umar. Umar is the town. What? Huh? Yeah, Uber's the town. We are currently in Umar. Oh, oh, yeah, well. I think I know where I am. I'm a druid. <laughs> <laughs> no, she got lost Slink in this. away. <laughs> she touched the swirly, smoky shit. I mean, stuff. Don't say that. That's a bad word. Th thank you very much for your patronage. And I... I Patronage, I, I didn't give you anything. I, I flip a coin to this. I, I flip yes, a coin to the small child and start walking away. Oh, mommy, I could buy another weird cat. <laughs> weird cat. Another. Another. <laughs> uh. Do I look like a weird cat? You're fine. Oh, okay, thank you. The. Uh, uh, have I flown low enough to, to kind of hear this exchange? I would assume there? you came down with the yeah. people to hear this. Well, like I, I would have, uh, I would have not, uh, I would have not like dropped down like on the ground, but I would have kind of flown it. I prefer to fly rather than walk. But once, once I hear that, I'm like, uh, I, in my head, I'm like, okay, this is the second time uh, that uh, this has happened. And, and I say to Chip, I was like, would you like some, uh, a, a new looking outfit so that people stop being afraid of you for some reason. Uh, Maybe perhaps I'm going to actually make you look like a, a cat. I'm going to make him a leaf hat. Just put a leaf or, hat or, or a cute yeah. pink what bow kind or something. Of outfit? There we go. Uh, per perhaps uh, a, a tuxedo or a uh, or some kind of formal attire. I I'm I'm not one to wear clothes usually, but we could try something. Well, I'll tell you what, I, I shall I shall try to create you one, and you tell me if you like it or not. And uh, and I want to press the digitation on the imp and try to make him look like uh, to where his his wings kind of uh, like they look like they've kind of folded back and like doesn't, he looks really slick. Doesn't that only last like six two seconds or a minute? Let's look. Uh, uh, the duration coloring is lasts hour. an hour. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, yeah. Uh, there's definitely, uh, it, you know, color changes on you to make it kind of look like you're you're wearing a suit. Um, and it's now not a monkey suit, but an imp suit. <laughs> it's like penguin pattern, so I look like I have is, a tuxedo. Is that on. more to your liking? I just no. don't like when people uh, are, uh, are, are upset by you. You are a good imp. You have brought big birds down for me. I like that. Well, what do you, do you guys think? And I kind of like spin around in the air, showing off the new color. I, I, Better yeah, nice. Better nice. Very nice. I think you need hair, though. So, uh, I, I could have <laughs> no, hair. No, no, I've, no. I've always been a little self-conscious about the... I am the, sorry. The, I can only yeah. provide color changes. I cannot provide that which is not there. <laughs> oh, uh, that, that's okay. You just All look cold. Right. All Can right, we... let's go. All right, let's. We know where the cave is. Let's let's head out. Uh, but uh, before I go, I'd like to press the digitation my own uh, my own self, uh, so that it looks like I have a matching suit to him. Okay. All yes. Right. Okay. There's... When this is all over, we can just go to Milford and have you both fitted for something. Right. <laughs> it is okay. I do not use armor. I just like to look cool. No, I don't like the way clothes feel either. This this is much better. Very good. Let us go forth. You guys follow this path. You guys see a tiny white stone. Um, Chip, to you, it looks like it's a pretty big stone. Everyone else is a tiny stone. Oh, here's the stone the old lady was talking about. She said, "Wow, the that's a big stone." It, it, it was really the, the little direction. girl who said that she put a stone in front of the the cave. I thought the little ah. girl said the stone was big. This can fit in my hand. It's big to her. Do we see a cave? Um, you see a, a trail. You kind of can kind of tell there's a like a 
little kids have definitely been tromping around here. Uh, but you do see like a mountainside there, but you don't can't see it. Uh, but you guys, it goes down a hill. Can I follow the path? I want to see if, if I can see a cave yep. around where all the paths are. As you go down, wait, you going down the, the, the path the kid went down or the more strewn path? Uh, I guess the path the kid went down, that's okay. the more important yep. sounding path. It is. Uh, you are correct in that. As you walk down, you see the wall and you kind of see part of the wall shifting. Gonna... How, how big is the path? It's, like a, is I mean, it, is it enclosed? No, nope, it's it, a it's a, it's a nice flat path, but as you can definitely tell, like where people walked by, like their stones have been kicked free. And but stuff. like, is there an uh, like I'm asking because no, uh, there there I'm there's a... there's no enclosed cave. It is it is okay. just a path. It is a mountain path. Gonna okay. pick up a decently sized stone, and as I'm like tossing it up and down, contemplating, I'm gonna be casting light on it, and I'm gonna cast it through the <laughs> the shimmer. As you throw it at the shimmer, you see what looks like smoke come out and absorbs the rock, and it disappears. And the light, gonna... the light disappears as well. Everything disappears, and now the entrance, the little wavy portion of black, starts to have a smokeness coming off of it. Can I spend ten minutes? I wanna, I wanna find out more about this and ritually detect magic. Okay. Um, anyone else going to do anything for that 10 minutes that he's going to stand there for? Uh, I'm going to go up and it? poke it. As right. you, you poke it, your finger feels cold. So does my finger like go into it and can I pull it back out? You can pull it back out, but you do not see your finger enter it. You just feel cold. Come here. Come here. I'd, I'd like to fly oh, okay. over the strong path. Uh, for just 10 minutes, so like as far as I can get in like 5, so I can get back in 5. We, we, okay. we didn't make it to level 18 um, to die now, and I, I cast <laughs> Resilient uh, Okaluke's uh, resilient, resilient Sphere on Chip uh, and tell, and please <laughs> click that for me. <laughs> I picked the most obscure spell. I don't think it's that this is a combo we've done a lot before, so the yeah. second he casts it on me, I know I'm going straight through the portal. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, and I see this, and, and I'm like, are we doing the fastball special oh. again? <laughs> oh my gosh, people, you guys. So basically this just encompasses them in a little bubble here. In an indestructible bubble. Okay, it's like a movable tiny small hut. Yes. Okay. You, you see this bubble envelop you you are used to it and it glows a shimmer of what, what color is purplish your magic purplish blue purplish yeah. blue shimmer around you you know this to be a thing that he w puts around you when he wants you to do something dangerous <laughs> congratulations yeah, so you are the, the weakest strongest link. person in the party probably not the imp <laughs> uh what what's your strength uh 20 okay yeah my, my strength 16 I think. so yeah i don't 16. actually go in the portal i like s go over to your hand and you know what the protocol is I, i'd say i say hold we are <laughs> detecting what magic this is we can fastball in a moment <laughs> fastball neck okay, <laughs> okay and then i get yeeted how to enter a portal 101 not this <laughs> As you as you enter this portal, everything turns gray. Smoke billows off of you and everything in here. You can kind of see an entrance and every it's just the gray though. And you see two stone columns on either side rise up in front of you. And you see a doorway in front of you. And again it is gray. Everything is gray and smoky. And it smells of smoke, too. Oh. Smells like home. How, how many minutes has this been? Um, it is about now. So your detect magic finally goes off. Um, oops. Um, <laughs> you can't really tell what type of magic it is. Um, it is a portal. 
Um, but it's the, the magic itself is just kind of it's it's fluctuating so much that it's hard to get a little read on. But you know, it is a portal to another realm. Another realm. So I know that that this could be like a planar portal. Exactly. Can I stick my? Do head I know where back it goes? Through? It'd be rolling back through. You're in a hamster ball. Um, oh, okay. who, who is that? Who said I that? I was asking if I could like go back through and tell them it's okay. Uh, Dane, uh, you do have some experience with some kind of uh, realms. Um, you have a good guess that it's the shadow realm. <laughs> All right. Knew that was coming. Do I know if there's anything <laughs> dangerous in the shadow realm that we that I should tell my party about? Um, there are plenty of things dangerous in the shadow realm. <laughs> plenty of things dangerous. Can I can I throw a twenty three insight to figure out if there's anything that can if the air is safe enough to breathe? The air the is safe enough to breathe. All right. But you do know that passing through the shadow realm can cause a sickness that is not curable by normal means, even by magic means as well. Sickness. Mm -hmm. Do I know where the sickness comes from or how to how to get it? Uh, it comes from the Shadow Realm or the Shadow Fell, depending how you the want to Shadow it. Fell. Okay. Well, that... you, have, you have experience with this. What what kind of uh, uh, magic is there? Is is as a cold or, or thunderous? What what kind of, of magic might be it's... in this place? The magic is dark and evil. And there's creatures that can curse us. Curses are more powerful than some of our magics. We need to be careful. Uh, Israel, are you coming back out? Uh, well, I was actually um, going to actually take out my Mesa Disruption because it can uh, it shed some light. But since... Uh, as awesome. you want to try to shed the light, the light does not go anywhere. <clears throat> right. That kind of concerns me. Uh Gonna see if we can. So, I, is there a plan to go through? Is this? I weapon? say, uh, I say, <laughs> if you will allow me, I can make us invulnerable. Who got yeah. yeeted in there, by the way? There's that was no that was Chip in the hamster oh ball. Chip, yeah. Chip, Chip's in the hamster. Yeah. Ball. <laughs> uh, the I'd, ball. I'd like to use. Uh, so my staff of power has twenty charges. Yep. I would actually like to do six of them. Uh, and cast Globe of Invulnerability, which uh, creates a faintly shimmering barrier uh, into existence in a 10-foot radius around me and remains for up to a minute, which would give us enough time to uh, go and check it out. Uh, I believe I have, yes, i have able to send it into Rule 20. Yep. Uh, and so I, I uh, take my staff and I kind of back onto the ground and I say, if you will all get fairly close to me, please, and go on the ground. Just again. And, and I walk up. I walk it's up the next bigger door. fastball. You it's know the, this. The bigger hamster ball. Can this fit through the portal? It's not an no, actual it, physical ball. And, and he's it, creating an individual aura. and he's creating individual balls around people basically. Well, well, it's a it's a barrier <laughs> around myself. So as long as people are kind of bunched up near me like within a couple of feet, then then it's just kind of one one uh long barrier. Cool, I'm coming in last. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Didn't you say? Uh, didn't you say you were using multiple charges to cast? Oh, it no, range. No, uh, self doing the feet? actual spell cost me six. Oh, jeez, the I, I believe so. Okay. Uh, okay, and it's, and level it's your six spell or something. And it's yeah, yourself. It's, it's, it's yourself with a range of ten feet around you. Okay. All right. Yes. So the uh, uh, I just want to double check here. Uh, so you can spend one or more charges to cast one of the following. Yep. No, yeah, um, you're you're right. Yep. It is six of the levels okay. of spell. Yes, yes. In my let's, head, I was thinking six people. Way in. Yes. So I I say uh, I say as your imp has already entered, please go in front of me, uh, uh, Uziel, so that way we can make a nice line for me. Otherwise, yeah. you may not. Be that that would be the normal formation. So I uh, I step in front of him. As so we make our I, way in. I think our marching order then would be <laughs> technically Chip because he's already in the hamster ball in there, then Israel, then Uziel, 
then myself, then Dane. Uh, Should that help? Okay, as you guys <laughs> all enter there, you guys see Chip disappear, and in front of Chip, a silver dragon appears and lets his, the breath loose, and it goes, and it hits you guys, and it goes right through you. <laughs> That's all I say. <laughs> as you guys enter, you guys keep walking, you guys walk for a couple minutes, and then you see these pillars rise up in front of you. And then there is a small black swatch in between the pillars. The smell of it? smoke goes through your lungs as well, by the way. Uh, I'd like to make a perception check of the area. Um, it <clears throat> seems pretty drab. Um, there's a mountainside. There's a pathway. There's like, a little smoke building off all, all the things. Um, there's not very much around here besides those pillars that just appeared in front of you. Okay, uh, I go and check out the pillars. Uh, they're fine crafted pillars. Um, you can definitely tell they're not really dwarven made. Uh, they have an elven style to them. Um, uh, little fancy little leaves in there, engraved in there. Uh, but they hold up nothing. At this can I read them? Globe would, uh, you read leaves. Release. Ah, I read leaves. Because I'm a druid. <laughs> there, there is no writing. It, it is just incre- <laughs> okay. It is just detailed the, the like vibes. Is, you said there, there was a dark splotch or yes. something. another portal. Basically, when you get closer, you can see it's another portal. Looks very familiar to you. Uh, Chip, Chip, come here. Yeah, am I still in the hamster ball? And yes. I don't, how, okay. it, it lasts for like ever. How? how where is the hamster ball? Is it like? It actually lasts for air? a minute, but is it? No, it's it's one hundred percent on the ground, and I can barely move it. But I'm just like struggling against no, it, the sun. It, it, it follows you around, but it only lasts a minute. Oh. Yeah, both. The <laughs> no, we've got like 30 my seconds. Globe left. Is, is, uh, is, my, my globe's already gone, so I assume that his uh, hamster ball's already gone. I mean, going in took us a minute to shuffle through the thing one at a time, so. Is my hamster ball gone? Your hamster ball, as you're, as you're saying this, you see the blue just fade away. It yes, sparkles. your hamster ball is gone. <sighs> Good job, Chip. I mean, I we got through the last one safe. I don't think you need to waste another spell on me. Okay. Uh. And I just curl up into a ball. Is there anything else in the room besides the pillars and the new portal? Uh, if I'm reading this correctly, Chip. Wall cliff, uh, and just <laughs> path and smoke. There, there's absolutely nothing in the, in this air, vicinity wise. Besides that new yep. portal. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, All a right. portal behind us and a portal in front of us. Dane, you know if you spend too much time in here, it is very easy to get lost. As yeah. as me and Chip's strategy for going through portals, he curls up into a ball and I yep. yeet him through it. Right. Wee! <laughs> you see, oh, let's not get lost. <laughs> you see, Chip hit the portal and he disappears. All right, Chip, you appear. In this marble floor and marble walls, and the you can hear just it's the smell of just musty. You can definitely tell it's not a place that's been opened to the world in a very long time. Any lost children in here? You hear Hello? silence. <laughs> what do I see anything I, relevant I wait, around me I wait about 10 seconds or so after yeeting him through the portal to like stick my head through the portal as you stick your head through the portal you also see these this, fl this floor it's a tiled floor it's almost like a type of marble and the walls themselves are also of that marble there it's definitely very fancy but you can get the smell of must and oldness Coming from something that has been blocked off for ages and ages. I, I, like, so I'm, like, sticking my head through and I'm waving everyone else through as I'm finishing going through the portal. I go in next. As I just enter in. I'm guessing we're, like, the Green Berets of... <laughs> Adventures, yes. I, I, uh, I know that Dane prefers to be at the end, so I kind of hop and just kind of 
uh, sore end a little bit. You guys all enter, and you guys all get the smell of must. Chips, why do you smell so? It's like veins. It's like veins closet. It's not me. It it smelled like this when I got in here. I shall believe you this time. It's okay, Chip. Vane's just trying to cover up the fact that he doesn't wash his clothing. I do not need clothing. We've talked to you about this. Like, multiple times. It is not my fault that my wings create a lot of sweat. But there, there's things you can do to deal with the sweat. You could so change your master you land, you have right? Prestidigitation. Vane. And as he says We've that, I, I cast Prestidigitation, and and I smell much nicer. <laughs> um, as you guys leave, uh, everybody, please make me a Constitution saving throw. Okay, this is uh, one of those. Where... That's okay. 16. Woo. Oh, and everyone gets plus two, by the way, on, like, saving throws. Dane, as you get out, you start coughing a little bit. Um, and if, if it feels every... off to you now. Uh, and as you breathe, a little bit of smoke comes out of your mouth. Um, you have disadvantage on all constitution saving throws. I'm not, I don't know what the, the saving mm-hmm. throw was, but everyone has plus two on that. Yep, I, I, I took that into account. That's why Mika was safe. Okay. Oh, with a twenty-two, I rolled. I rolled off. Uh, no, with it with a six. He's going with disadvantage. Oh, okay. I rolled it with disadvantage to my Constitution save that time. Everybody did. Yep. Got it. Ah, farts. <laughs> farts. Well, that's what it smells like. All right. Uh, can I? Can I? Do I notice the people that are harmed by? This you effect? only notice Dane. Coughing up a little bit of smoke. I, I try. I try lay on hands for him. Uh, for is that like one point. five points to uh, get rid of a uh, thing? Yes. Yes. Five points. Um, as you do this, you kind of feel your magic being absorbed by the shadow. Uh, Dane. As you do this, though, you do know that this will fade away in about two days, maybe three, maybe Dane. four. <sighs> I, I I tried, Dane. I'm so sorry. Uh, you, you might have to wait this one out. It's not it's not the normal uh, things you usually pick up. Mm. Further down the hallway, you guys see a slight color glow. And some of you guys can see all the way down there. You do see a statue of a dragon with a rug and a couple weird colored things coming down from that end. Alright. Who is the lead? Shall we continue, Israel or Tiny Hamster Chip? <laughs> the um, ball is not I, Iman anymore. <laughs> the, the, I, ball, the ball is gone. Is I this, thought you said I looked <laughs> a lot cooler with this tuxedo looking thing. You do. We like to use nicknames as Dragonborn. Hamster Ball is your nickname. It is oh. makes you most cool. Well, thank you. That All is right. why I'm we do not say Garrafin Vein Farrell. It is too long. I start making forward my way myself forward. Uh, is my vision correct? Am I only seeing like fifteen feet? Uh, as an Esmir, I don't think you guys you have right. Do you have more vision than this? I do. I do have dark vision. Sixty feet. Hmm. Oh, I'll let you know. One second. Because uh, there you go. You got sixty feet now. I am very powerful, but not in my eyes. Someone please cast light for me. Uh, I just take out my mace. That will work too. <laughs> a light <laughs> radiates from you, and it gives a nice soft glow out into, I think, 40 feet to think, so the range of light. And the mace of disruption? Yeah. I shall stay with you. I'm just going to hover right behind Israel's shoulder. Yes. Uh, 
I make my way this way. Let's do a perception check. You see a door to your north. It is an old wooden door. You can definitely tell it has some age to it. And there are metal bars. Kind of really truly that's what's holding this door together here. And there is an empty brazier in the far corner. You definitely see there's webs all over the place, but no actual living spiders. Down the other hallway, you do see the dragon statue and a couple... You would see a gem and lay it into a marble. Hmm. Are those gems magical? Chip, this chip, one? See if you can see if you can uh, open that door. Uh, okay. I'll I'll go fly up to the door handle and start pulling on it. This as one? you as you fly <laughs> up to the door door handle, you go to open the door and the door handle breaks off and the door swings open. I I did it. Very, very good, Chip. I knew you could do it. Uh, thank you, Uziel. How did it swing as, open? As it opens, you get this hands. smell of blood, death, and decay. Allow me to handle this. And I press the digitation and try to make it smell uh, more like uh, uh, a, a slightly not... Uh, uh, a a uh, middle school boys locker room that has uh, only uh, that has been used, but like three days ago, so it's slightly less pungent. <laughs> it's still pretty pungent, but for <laughs> my kind, it is fine. <laughs> Across the wall, you do see a table with what looks like instruments of torture and murder. As you enter to your left, you definitely get a whiff, even above the presentation of blood and death. You see this pot that is about four feet tall and you kind of see a red ooze blood almost in it. Hmm. What? What is in that pot, Chip? Uh, I'll, I'll go over and, and check Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> yes? W what's wrong, like Israel? I would cast... Detect uh, evil good. Gar Garoth, uh, as you take a step right there... Of course it is me. I shall take it on. You see a red tentacle reach out. And it goes to grab you. Um, so that did not work, but holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're gonna... <laughs> Why did that not work? Oh, gosh. There's no uh, space between the 6 and the D, I think. Maybe. No, oh, no. I thought that, that was how much damage I had got. No, not, <laughs> no, not yet. So, I'm sorry. Oh, and don't man. worry, I have a few reactions. Not many, though. I'm glad that <laughs> it was not you, Chip. Yeah. I, Give me I'm, a second I'm here. not a fan of tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why. Save change. There we go. I, I, I clicked the wrong macro. Aha! You see the slime come up and grab you. I, it is uh, now grappling you. I, uh, well, I take, uh, uh, so I, I uh, channel my inner dragon sense and a shield appears before me. And uh, do, do we need initiatives? Not yet. You will in a second. I will take care uh -huh. of that for you. All right. Uh, and an invisible barrier of of rainbow like force, a shimmering rainbow, uh, comes around me. And I have uh, a plus five to my AC, which makes a twenty-four, including against the triggering attack. As it goes to grab you, it goes to pull you forward, and it slips right off your shield. You see almost a slimy red. Residue left off of and your I say, shield. Ha, ha, ha. And just that's it. <laughs> oh, not him. Oh, well, please, not him. No, no. Nope. Uh, no, well, now we ignore, know. Ignore that dude who just appeared out of nowhere on your on your list. What uh, guy? I no, I saw nothing. Too late. Do Do I see Israel uh, doing the uh, detect magic? 
I'm not doing. I was doing detect good, or evil, good, 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 good and evil. Um, uh, I mean, your focus would be on this bowl, this giant cauldron okay. that reached out and tried to attack you. Well, I I started casting it before that happened, so. Okay. So I'm assuming it's pretty evil. Um, it's an aberration, celestial, elemental, fey, fiend, or undead. Within thirty feet. And you do not sense. You sense. Mm, you sent someone dead coming from in that room, but uh, that's it. So what just attacked him was not any of those? Uh, that is that is correct. It is not any of those. All right. Technically. Dane, you are up first. You heard, you heard, you heard, oh boy. You heard these magical words coming from the ancient vein, you know what they mean, and you know they mean combat. All right, I guess I should alert everybody and let them know to prepare for battle. Right. And mm -hmm. um, is that is this my initial? Is, is this, this is your me? turn? Ah, sweet as. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and cast this guy here, Bark Skin. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my skin into a rough, disgusting looking amalgamation. Um, uh. And then, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna ready my actual action until I see anything. Any okay. actual enemies? Because I don't think I actually see anything. You would not see anything at this time of moment. Cool. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait and see if there, anything right. happens. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a spell at him. Okay. I'm gonna ready. Um, sorry. I guess I could tell you that I'm gonna. Uh, well, Barkskin was your action, so there's not really. I don't think there's very many bonus action spells to ready. Oh yeah, no. I'm and good. you can't do any spells itself. You can do cantrips. Yeah, I could bonus action transform, but I don't know where I'm going, so I don't know how it could be helpful. So I'm gonna ready. Oh yeah, that's true. You could. Okay. All right. Garoth, ancient vein. It is your turn. Do I see this gray ooze? Uh, it is not gray. Ignore the name to it. I forgot to change it. Okay. But it is. It is a giant red blob. That's it. The tentacles raised up in there. You, all you see is the tentacles themselves. Okay. But I see the tentacles. You see the tentacles. They are giants in red. You cannot miss them. They tried to, they tried to grab you. Okay. Uh, so I am upset at this, uh, at this uh, uh, tentacle thing. And so... Are you? Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. And so, let's see here. Uh, I will cast, uh, uh, takes two and the spell ends, uh, into your turn to automatically do the full rotation. Okay, so I am going to cast Innervation, and I will send both the spell card and the spell attack to roll 20. Thank you. And a uh, tendril of my own darkness, like the black at the end of the rainbow, reaches out from me to touch the inky black tent, uh, the inky red tentacle, in a tentacle-like battle. <laughs> <laughs> the tentacles grab each other, and the red tentacle kind of dis like drops. Falls to the floor and then you, and you falls to the floor. It splatters and it looks exactly like blood. Does it uh, survive the dexterity save? <laughs> uh, it dissipates itself. Okay. Did it do any damage? I can't tell you that. That is that is, uh, that is a little bit above your pay grade as a player. Okay. <laughs> but come, the up the, come up to the DM level. I'll let you know. <laughs> the, the dissipation uh, at least uh, looked to Garoth like uh, it had died. That is what Garoth thinks. Garoth would think so that. So it shall be. Ancient Vane. 
Very well. Are you doing anything else with your action? Uh, I do not believe I have very many bonus actions. You can move. Uh, you have things other than wings. And so, well, I can, uh, I can wing and walk. They both do not require anything for me. Uh, I shall, I shall take my, uh, I, uh, so who is behind me? Uh, exactly. that is, uh, Uziel. Uziel, okay. Uh, well, I have, uh, I have a 24 AC right now. So, actually, uh, I am going to, uh, um, and how I long going... did the uh, shield last one round? Okay. Yeah. So uh, for at least this round, I am going to uh, uh, to brace myself uh, so that I can uh, try to tank any damage that might come from the dead tentacle. Because Garroth believes the tentacle is dead. And that is my turn. Israel. You see right. these tentacles wrapping around. The smell of fresh blood is now in your nostrils as part of, as one of the ten, the black tentacle grappled the other red tentacle and the red tentacle fell to the floor and caused a big, huge splash of blood. Oh, I forgot to say, I say, ha ha ha. And that's it. No. Oh. <laughs> um, so I, is, do you, I see any more like, uh, Anything else coming from the pot, or just just all you see right now is the tentacles. Like but dead. one tentacle is dead. dead. One tentacle has seemed to have disappeared. How many more tentacles are there? There's about six more tentacles. They move like snakes. It's hard to really see, but they're about six. I was not six. aware there were more tentacles, but there are apparently five for you, sir. <laughs> um. So yeah, I'll go attack one of them with my mace. All right. See if it's uh, like it looks really easy. So. <laughs> you uh, walk up it. you swing your mace across you can definitely tell it hits the tentacle and just blood splatters all over you and you look inside the pool and you see the blood start to looks like it's moving the, inside the cauldron inside the cauldron uh, but I didn't sense anything from that no um, but I did sense undead nearby. Yeah, you did not. You you did not sense any like uh, fey other things, other things, other things. Aberration, other things. aberration, or monstrosities, or anything like that. There. Mm, okay. Uh, uh, if you had to guess what it was with your knowledge of adventuring, it might be news. Which is it? Oh, okay. Perhaps um, one that is gray, as the name suggested. It is not gray. gray. It's blood. <laughs> it's blood. It's blood. Blood jello. <laughs> blood jello. Um, I, so I, I, that's all I can really do, I think. I mean, no one needs any healing. That's kind of my jam. Blood <laughs> jam. Um, all right, that'll be my turn. All right. So that'll be me next. Chip, you are up. <laughs> uh, just so you know, if you have a orange circle around your face, your icon, that is your turn. Ah. I'm going to fly my way over to Uziel and start digging around in his backpack for my wand. And you'll see I pull out, like, it basically just looks like a standard black and white magician's wand. But the white tips on each side are just glowing with a radiant energy. It's like a and towel, <laughs> rubber ducky. <laughs> exactly. And, Random uh, ration. Yeah, I'm like what you need for adventuring. Just rubber duckies and everything <laughs> flying out, and then I pull out my wand and I just like shake it around a bit, and you hear me mutter some words in celestial, and I, I understood it. Eldritch Blast, and it's just four beams of, like, bright white crackling energy zigzagging across the room, and I'm aiming it at, at, like, the center mass in this blood cauldron. Okay, from your angle flying-wise, you can aim for center mass. I, I, yeah. will, I, I will give I'll you that fly, there. How high is the ceiling? It's about 20 feet. Yeah, so I'll fly up as high as I can in that ceiling, and then... So, yeah, at level 18, I get four... Little separate beams, but they're all going for the same target. As you do this, please make me a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. Oh boy. Is that four? 
<laughs> I think I did one too many. But wisdom save. Uh, was that, uh, was that, uh, was that four wisdom, was that four Eldritch Blasts? I did you a fifth one by accident. Yeah, so... Okay, so you should have five. No, no, four. But he clicked it one too many times. I see one, two, three, four. I see six of them. Oh, well, ignore two of them. Then. Yeah, just ignore the last two. Okay. And then I did a wisdom save, and I got 15 on it. Okay. Well, well it's technically 17 with, uh, Uzreal near yeah. you. Um... You feel this compulsion as you go to throw your bolts there. You feel this compulsion to... Why would I want to attack that when there's something in front of me to, to attack? Um, you would not ever attack Uziel. So you target Galroth, the ancient vein. <laughs> and you as cast you four bolts at him. Uh, his AC is a 25 currently due to shield... So, Ancient Vein, all of a sudden, on your back, you feel this, you see this radiant energy coming out of, around your shield, and then another one kind of feels you go right through your shield, hits you in the back for five force damage. And you see another radiant just go around your shield again, and another one hits you right in the back, dealing three force damage. Uh... I hate to do this to you, but I forgot to have it adding my charisma modifier, so each of those should be Woo! getting plus five. Plus five? <laughs> Alright, so you take ten more damage on top of that. Because you only got hit by two. I'm just like, sorry! Oops! Uh. So that would be twenty damage total? Yep. Yep. I say, ah! And because I, I'm not looking behind me, I say, the tentacle got me the best this time, but I shall be back. Stupid tentacles. <laughs> Sean has, Connery joined the party. He has no idea. He got hit in the back by Chip. Got it. Are you doing anything else, Chip? Um, sorry. Like, am I? Did I want to do that, or can I be apologizing for it? You can be apologizing for it. Yeah. Sorry, I, I, I lost control over myself. I don't quite know what I was doing. What are you talking about? I got hit by a tentacle. Yeah. Yeah. Roll deception on that one for me. I wasn't going to oh, yeah. have you do shit, but now... Okay, 22. yeah, he believes you. <laughs> Uziel. I don't understand, but I appreciate your apology. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uziel, you see this magic coming over your shoulder. You know it from Chip. And you see it hit Ancient Vein in the back. And Ancient Vein... Chip! Has no Chip. idea. What? Chip! Y yes? Your aim... Please. Uh, sorry. I, I, okay. Wait, so better, it really better was next the time. Tiny one. No, you you focus on the tentacles. Yes, the tentacles. That's right. <laughs> All right, and with the things happening, I'm going to rush. All right, is there actually tentacles out of the? The basin. Yes, there are, there are tentacles coming out of the basin. They're flooding around. All right. Well, I'll attack one of the tentacles. Attack the tentacle. Well, I guess, like... All right. Well, what you see is... <laughs> zing, zing, two amazing-looking, brilliant swords fly out of nowhere. One. One blade flies out of nowhere. We talked about this. Both of them... <laughs> <laughs> both of them fly out of nowhere it is a bonus action <laughs> yeah we talked about this I skipped my second bonus action you want to okay but you can't attack with it the first round yes you can look cool but you can't yes. attack with it yes. there you go we uh, talked about this just let them have the look cool part okay <laughs> you look cool congratulations <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> woo <laughs> All right, and uh, I attack a tentacle with my my amazing looking sword thing. You oh, shit, I didn't, slice I didn't through two it. of them, and they just drop to the ground, and blood splatters all over you as well. I don't even have to roll damage. Look at that. Oh, does it? Oh, yeah. I I rolled a critical, by the way, with my with my sunblade. 
all of a sudden, <laughs> you see this blob raise itself into the little cauldron. Not little. It's a pretty big cauldron. In the cauldron. And... You did attack his tentacle last, so we're going to go with you. Oh. A tentacle reaches out and grabs you, goes to grab you, Uziel. And it does not. And as it comes down, you kind of put your sword, your beam, your beam up, and it and blood splatters all over your face as that happens. And then the ooze kind of has a glow about it, the red ooze, and uh, the ch please chip Dane an ancient vein, please make me a wisdom saving throw. Uh oh. 27 plus 2, so 29. Hey, Uzi, how, how, long, how big is your radius? Oh, yeah. A uh, protection. 30, 30 some feet? Okay. It, it's, it's if any, if, if it's within the same room, it's basically. Okay. Dane got a 7. Um, and Dane, Nine. You, you also gotta make one for me. Uh, I'm sorry, what can I say? Oh, uh, wisdom. If I fail this, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> oh, I have advantage on wisdom. Eighteen, nice. Uh, ancient vein, you are now confused. I am always confused. <laughs> I was gonna say, what's different? <laughs> uh, this is a regular Tuesday. You cannot take reactions, and on it is Friday. On the start of your turn, you need to roll a one d ten. Determine okay. your behavior. So I cannot take reactions. You cannot take reactions. Okay. And as this thing kind of bloop, bloop, like jello, a part of it just flies out of it, and it charges at you, Uziel. This little oh. blob of red. Did a did a twelve? Uh, do it or no? No, nope. Okay, okay. Uh, and, and again, it kind of just splits against you and nothing really happens. Yeah! <laughs> Uziel is very charismatic. He's very cool. <laughs> Dane, you are up. You've seen Chip cast these spells. You've seen the other people go forward and... Ancient Vein is yelling at it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and peek in and see what the hell is going on. Uh, you see a cauldron with red tentacles coming out of it. And you see this kind of like jello like red in it bobbing up and down. Awesome. What's the, uh, what's the bowl made out of? The bowl is metal. <laughs> oh, what do you know? Hey. I got something for you now. Um, so it's a blob. There's something in it. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and see how hot it can get. Mm. How hot does it get? You see the metal start to turn an angry red, and the tentacles kind of look like they're getting angry as well. All right. Well, we're just gonna let it. We're gonna let it boil in there. Yep, that's the end of my turn. All right. Uh, Geralt, please roll me a one d ten. Geralt need to find combat. Geralt rolls a four. You do not move or take an action. You kind of stand there very confused. Garoth is angry at the fact that it is actually Friday. <laughs> um, and then at the end of your turn, please make another wisdom saving throw. Well, that was my turn as far as I understand. It was, so please make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Garoth is not the smartest of people. And by people, we mean dragons. He is very smart and very handsome, but not very... Uh, it is does he, not have brain. Is he? <laughs> Gareth runs a four. Gareth is still confused. <sighs> Israel. Gareth is angered still at Friday. <laughs> Israel, this giant 
ge almost gelatinous redness blob has come out, and the tentacles are weaving around it. All right. Um, I'm just gonna make, cast my. I'm looking through my spills. Oh, there they are. Um, how many? Um. How many uh, things are around me? Uh, there's about like five tentacles. Some more tentacles have come up. It's when like, it, how many? When it I mean, within, how many feet? Uh, there's about like three tentacles, probably within your within your range. Five feet. Yeah. So, um, I'm actually gonna cast a cantrip. I'm gonna cast Word of Radiance. Okay. Um, I'm going to. It's gonna each thing with uh, that I choose. So I'm gonna choose the uh, the uh, oozes. Must uh, succeed on Constitution saving throw. And okay. my DC is an 18. So what are you are you choosing three of the tentacles? Uh, how about the the ooze itself? Oh, you got to target the ooze itself. Okay. That and some of the tentacles. Okay. So uh, a con saving throw. It succeeds! Congratulations! Uh, no, that was my action. Um, I'm gonna you do a... No, no never mind. I saw the effort. <laughs> yeah, never mind. That was, uh... Wait, can I do a, uh... A bonus action... A first level spell? Uh, or... Did you... Well, was, I, I was, casted a cantrip. That was a can okay. If you have if you cast the cantrip, as long as you have a bonus action spell, you can cast it. But the only bonus action spells that are around are like heals, or like the right. imaginary or imaginary weapon. Um, what was that? Uh, I will cast. No, I, I won't do it. I'm going to save my spell slots for something bigger. Uh, uh, so, uh, no, I, I'll just do Healing Word on uh, Ancient Vein, and it's already maxed. Uh, so 1d4 plus 4 is, uh, you get 8 HP back. Did you hear that, Vein? So I received 8 back? Yes. yes. I'm going to put it there, actually. I feel I feel slightly better. I mean, I still think it's close to hump day, but I am slightly uh, I, I feel happier somehow. By the way, the it tentacles is... you targeted did fall and dissipate. It is two days past Wait hump day. Wait, they dissipated even though they like succeeded? they 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 dropped and splattered the ones that you targeted the the tentacles themselves. Oh, oh, so if that happened, I get the rule of damage because I want to see how much damage I did. Because, uh, spend spell tech. So that would be 15. Yeah. Okay. I'm just curious. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Next turn. Chip, you're up. Yeah. So I'll just do a quick downward motion with the wand and chant. It sounds weird because I'm chanting in celestial with my little imp voice. And I'm just like, Sana -la -la -la. <laughs> it's okay, Chip. I understand you. Yeah. And then I yeah. cast Sacred Flame on the like cauldron. On the cauldron? Whatever's in the cauldron. Okay. Are you casting <laughs> on the tentacle or the 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 mass and the big blob? The the big blob. The ooze. And it has to make a DC twenty two dex save. And <laughs> Ooh, that's uh yeah, that's definitely an easy one to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it crit um, for a fifteen, so uh, it it gets minus. <laughs> it's still gonna take it's damage, crit, even though it's crit. Do I make another wisdom save because I'm attacking it, or? Nope, it's not gonna. You're not gonna make a wisdom saving throw for this. It takes thirteen okay. damage, though. <laughs> if there were some realm of, of monsters don't that are pick on my eyes, don't perhaps. don't pick on my guy, okay? Yeah, I figured it might have a bit of trouble moving <laughs> out of the way while it's stationary in a cauldron. It's a negative five to Dex, okay? 
<laughs> some some may say that it was not very effective. <laughs> it's something. It's something. I it don't was... don't pick on Chip. He's trying. <laughs> Right. Oh, at least I didn't hit you this time. And he did very well. Uh, the, the, the flame itself kind of envelops it. You can tell that it kind of moved out of the way a little bit, but you still got burned. Like, it doesn't make any did. noise, but imagining it does. <laughs> Fire is very effective against steel. Who's well, here? Never mind. You can do in any movement you got. You can do your movement real quick if you want. Sorry. Uh, I'll just be like flying around in circles trying to make it hard for the tentacles to get me. Okay, that's fair. Azuzil needs to make a show whenever he does something. He he makes sparks with his two swords as he s strikes another tentacle. You you roll your head the three attack. Uh where is it? 16 to hit. You slash through the tentacle and it falls to the ground. And there's, there's just now just blood all over the place. <laughs> but I only did 20 damage. That's enough. <laughs> That's actually 29 damage, um, sir. 29? That's what, 20 plus 9. Or are you not smiting it? It's already including it. Are you, are you using the smite? No. Okay. It, it, improved smite is a thing that happens at later levels. Yes. Where but it are... automatically includes a level one. No, I'm not doing the other smite. It's okay. just improved smite. If if you get blub, if you get blub, what's blub, happening. Blub 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 blub. blub, blub. All right. Let's see if I can roll well. That, that's not on a uh, saving throw. Okay. And the slimes, you see more slimes, arms, tentacles coming out. <sighs> you can kind of see it looking at What are zeal. we doing here? We are fighting a bull. It looks at a zeal, and then it goes, looks away to Israel, and it's going to try to get you, Israel. All right. A 20 hits you. At, on the dot. Woo! And it grapples a hold of you, and it grabs it. You can feel the slime come off of it, but you can also feel, like, a kind of hardness against it. That, no, that wasn't a spell, so never mind. No, it was not. All right, I'm grappled. And, and then it is going to shoot. Actually, no, it's not going to shoot things because it's going to do this. If Once I pulled up, hold on, sorry. I wasn't expecting to hit somebody. <laughs> Everything's concentration. I wasn't expecting to hit somebody. <laughs> Listen, okay. I... <laughs> um, we didn't account for this. Uzil and Israel, uh, please make a dexterity saving throw. You got a captain. I rolled a 17. Israel. Yeah, I'm, yeah, it's going there. He uh, also I got rolled a 17. You see this kind of puff of like green gas come near you guys and dissipates right near your faces. You guys kind of move your faces away. But as the ooze kind of shimmers a little bit, a little, but the red comes out and it goes to hit you, Israel. Um. You are technically grappled, so it has its advantage. It doesn't matter. As it comes out, it shoots out, and you kind of duck, and it goes right by your head. And you hear a little splat, and blood is now on, splattered on the wall. Dane, there is a red tentacle grappling Israel. Israel, what are you doing? Stop me. Stop, stop playing with it. A little help here. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to hold heat metal. Okay. Yep. Yep. Gonna continue that uh, as my bonus action. Um, just gonna pretty much stand. 
back and watch because there's nothing much I can do with everybody there in the way. Okay. Ancient Vein, please roll me a d10. A one. I forgot what one does. Oh, yay! Ancient Vein has rolled a natural one. Okay, starting with the top. One. Upper right where Dane is. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. No one knows where you are referring because all our screens are different. <laughs> Towards the north is one. Towards the south is one, two, That's three, great, four, but five. That's great, north is not Chip's north. We are different It people. is your north. It is your north. So he attacks nothing? No. He's going to move. Please roll me a 1d8. He... Ancient Vein rolls another natural one. You run all the way up to the top of the wall, and they're now staring at the wall. Um, and that is the end of your turn. <laughs> please, <laughs> please roll me a wisdom saving throw. Ancient Vein, it's, it's, we just had the weekend. I am very confused. <laughs> we just had. <laughs> I went out and was picnicking. Was, and then you realize it's not the weekend, it's Wednesday. No, it is actually Tuesday. He would, no, wait, the guy said Friday. It is Friday. That's right, it is Friday. Israel, you hear Ancient Vane mumbling. Um, apparently he's getting really old. <laughs> Evidently, <laughs> yeah. It is your turn. You are being grappled. You can escape the grapple if you wish. Uh, sure. I think that's a great idea. So what is that? It's nice going strength. to be athletics or uh, acrobatics. Probably athletics for you, because that's what you're probably better in. 18. Plus 2. Plus 2 is 20. Why is it plus 2? Because of me. You give pluses to skill saving checks? Saving throws. It's not a saving throw. That looks like saving throw. That's an athletics check. It's a skill check. Fine, whatever. I mean, 18. You go to push it off, and your hands kind of go around it. It's really, really slick. Is, is that off me? No. It's still attached to you. Your hands kind of fall off there. Now your hands smell like fresh death and blood. <sighs> Don't worry, Israel. I will get you. I hope so. I mean, this is not the greatest way to die, but... Die? <laughs> Very blasé about his death. <laughs> I don't want to know. I mean, if you don't help me, just. Uh, mm. Do you have any bonus actions you wish to do? Uh. Nope. Okay. You see Israel lifted up by the tentacle and pulled into the pot. You take a lot of damage, sir. Let me throw it for you. Oh, oh no. shit. I'd like to do something now. Oh, no. <laughs> I'd like to do something now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a cauldron at this point, man. That thing's taking You take 38 damage. damage. <laughs> it, it is for importance, it is necrotic damage. Okay, that's what's halved. Um, also, um, the metal is very hot. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh, I'm going to do my HP. So how do you... Just click, just on, do, your just on, on... click on your little red bubble, then red minus 38 or whatever that you're using half if you're using half. Then enter, and that should take you. So from that'd your... be a nineteen. Yes. On uh, uh, D and D Beyond. Yeah. I did it for you on roll twenty two. Okay. Roll twenty two. So What's nineteen, that? and I hit damage. Okay, there we go. Uh, Chip, it is your turn. You've just seen Israel lifted up by the a red tentacle and pulled into the pot. <laughs> I'll get you out of there, buddy. And I cast Shatter on the cauldron and everything within 10 feet of it. Please click Shatter. Sure. That, uh, that's... That's not nice. I can do the thing where it, like... Uh, if you can click the spell... If you know how to click the spell card without casting it as well, you can do that, or I can look it up here for, and read it for people. Yeah, yeah, I'm not 100% sure how to do that. Okay, yeah. so... 
uh, shatter. A sudden loud ringing noise painfully intense erupts from a point of your choice. Each creature in the 10-foot radius must make a con saving throw. Or take 3d8 thunder damage. Are you at, what level are you casting it at? Fifth level. Holy sh- jeez Louise. Yeah. That's, that includes all of us. Oh god. Okay, that's 3d8, 4d8, 5d8, 6d8. I, I am, yeah. My constitution saves are, are debuffed too. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get wrecked. It actually doesn't affect me because uh, I'm so So, away. Israel, Uziel, make a constitution saving throw. Yeah! <laughs> it's fine, what is, your, what is your DC 20? <laughs> I understand, Chip, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, 16. Oh my gosh, you guys all take 34 damage. <laughs> yeah, chip, so it's just chip, this don't... piercing noise. Chip, and... chip, it's fine, it's fine, I understand, I understand. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, uh, And it says it damages objects in the area as well. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see here. Uh, you, you, there start to be cracks on the outside. And looks like red blood is coming out. <laughs> You're gonna set it free. It is, it is You're very trying close. to leave it in there. It's very <laughs> close to breaking right now. I think we're trying to leave it in there to boil. <laughs> Uziel! Uh, yes! This, uh, this thing is about to. The, the thing is about to shatter. Israel's inside the, the thing being gobbled up by this red ooze. And then this big. Boom happens. And then yeah, a big boom piercing happens. Piercing Your ears noise. are ringing. <laughs> I don't want to make the noise because it'll drive other people watching. We're not affected by it. Nuts. Yeah. Okay. Chip, it's fine. Ow. Ugh. Watch your aim. Okay. Uh, I, I'm going to attack an ooze. Uh, by the way, Uziel, did you did you uh, take your health off of, of roll 20? I, I did, but I don't know if it transferred. It did not transfer. How much damage was it again? Uh, it was a total of 34 thunder damage. 30, 34 thunder damage. Alright, so... Alright, I got it. <laughs> is, Israel is not always... is not looking the best at the moment. Alright, I'm going to attack the oozes that are currently holding Urziel. Or... or is Israel. Are you attacking... are you trying... Right now, it's kind of in, like, the red side of it. It's no longer a tentacle grappling it as much as it's in, like, a pool of red. And then the ooze is, like, blah, 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 above. I'm going to attack the main body of ooze. Okay. How? Go to make your attack. Not in that one. Not in that one. Natural 20. Uh, oh, shit. I'm rooting for you. Are you though? Hmm. Eighteen. You slash across it, and you dig deep into it. Roll your damage. Twenty-one damage. And you, as you do it, blood splatters against the wall. Is it dead? No. Okay. <laughs> Bonus action. Second attack! Same, same, same as... Second verse, same as the first. <laughs> 29 to hit! Roll a wisdom saving throw! Uh, I rolled the natural one! As you go, to, as you go to go to hit the ooze, you kind of miss. you do not not sure if you're missing on purpose or not. And you go across and you hit... Israel along the side. <sighs> Please roll your damage. Oh, and that's a lightsaber too. It's radiant. It's radiant damage. So it's Actually, half. Everything's radiant. Of yes. course, you only roll twelve against him. <laughs> <laughs> that's six damage for me. Yes. I'm so sorry, Israel. I I meant to hit your captor. Ancient Vane I'm... laughs out of nowhere, as if to think of a funny joke when it's really about the ooze. <laughs> it is now the ooze's turn, 
and you see it kind of bloop, 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 and another tentacle comes out and goes to grab, actually, let me measure. Uh, ancient Vein, you see a red tentacle run towards you. I have another reaction, should I need it. Well, Even right now would be the reaction if you wish to use it. I I would shield. Well, I can only have a reaction if I get if I get hit. I think it is going to to technically hit you. It's going to Hold grapple on, let you. Me, let me see what shield does. Plus uh, two. It's. Uh, I want to see what it says for the. Um, uh, okay, reaction. Uh, when you are hit by an attack or targeted. Yeah, plus five to AC. Okay, you have a twenty-four. And again, it grapples around you, and it, you can see it, the slime just inking off this invisible barrier around you, and it kind of just slips off from you. Ha ha ha! That is what happens when you battle a dragon board on Monday. I just want to point out, we're about five feet into this dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, I don't need that anymore. All right, let's see. Hmm. Awesome. Everybody, please make a constitution saving throw. As you see a fog start to spread out from That's Dane. 20. God dang. <laughs> Got a one. Uh, no, seven. That's a seven. Plus two. <laughs> Ancient Vane rules 19. He has strong constitution. He has a plus nine in constitution. Oh my god, Israel, I feel like I'm really just punishing you at this moment. I'm the healer, you're gonna pay for it, you know, all you guys. <laughs> I, I can also heal, but that's... I heal better than you. I understand I that, that's, too, that's your job. Actually. I can, yeah, I can heal, I think what we're all... What do I pay you and... for? <laughs> uh, I don't think you pay him. No, you don't. Oh, that's besides the point. Whoops, here we go. <laughs> Oh, it's one damage. Okay. One. Nope. Uh, it's Uziel. You take twenty-four damage. Everybody else takes half. Is that necrotic. Except for Uziel, that is going to be poison damage. Uh no. Uziel, you will take half of the half since you critically successed. Uh, the um, uh, poison is considered acid. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's considered poison, sir. There's a difference between poison damage and acid damage. Okay. So you said you said half. Uh, if you uh, if you succeeded, everyone except for Israel succeeded, uh, okay. and Uziel critically succeeded, so he takes a half of the half. And then how much was it? Twelve damage total for you. It's twenty four. Okay. Twenty four initially. Half is twelve. Okay. Do I take any damage, or am I just the conduit? Oh, you need to roll for me as well. Sorry, I thought you rolled. Sorry, my B. No worries. Also, aren't you immune to poison, uh, Druid? Uh, uh, I think that's the land druid. That is the land druid. Oh. Yeah, I'm a moon. I'm... Well, I tried. There is no yeah. moon in here, so he's not protected. Please roll. Uh, what do you need now? Con saving throw, sir. Got it. <clears throat> awesome. You take also 24 poison damage. God damn it. Uh, by the way, I am going... If you click your character, Isale, uh on roll 20, you can see how much health you have left. Yep. It is... uh. Uh, 46. It shouldn't be 46 anymore. It should be 22. Why? Because you took the damage. I already did the uh, oh. 24 for it. I had, originally had a 70. There we go. You're still, uh, you're looking un pretty unhealthy there. <laughs> still looking pretty. Oh, I'm roll 20. I'm thinking. Yeah, I already had. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. I, okay. I, 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 I moved your health back up there. Um, and then a, what looks like a blue thing, red, th sorry, not blue, red thing pops out, and Uziel, it really doesn't like you at the moment. Not Uziel, Uziel. Oh, good. And it doesn't matter, because it just blotches against you and just runs down. You you're looking pretty bloody. It's, it's pretty epic looking, if you ask me. Dane, you're up. S it smells like burnt blood in here. What is going on? <laughs> uh, 
Prince Blood's good blood. What shall you do, Druid of the Moon? Are you going to keep hold of your heat metal? Heating it anymore might cause it to um, break. Oh, so I will say that. Right. Uh, yeah, let's let's just continue for one more action, but let's back my ass up a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and and stand over here behind this table and let it <laughs> let it happen. <laughs> or stand on top. Can I stand on top of the table? Can I use my uh, movement action? You can get on top of the table, but any movement on there is gonna be difficult terrain. So once you get on there, it's gonna be twice the movement speed. But you can get on there freely. Oh, okay. Fair enough. W yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, put ourselves on this table. And uh, let's let's continue that. Heat metal, levels. please so click that spell for me. What's the, what, what, what's the DC on it? Oh, there's no DC. Anything in contact with that with that metal is taking 40, 10 damage. Sweet. Uh, Israel, uh, please take 29 damage. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm sorry, man. I I cast that way before you even got in that thing. That I know. Ran, like white hot before you guys. You can see part of the metal f fall off, but right now it's still holding. Barely. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't think you're very sorry. Dane, it's fine. It's fine. It, it it's happens fine. to everyone. <laughs> All right. Tiny tuxedo man. I don't Is, think Israel's used to it by now. This happens <laughs> on a regular basis. Oh yes, basis. you did. Uh, please, Dane. Please <laughs> roll me a uh, Constitution saving throw. The the uh, the fog is still around you. Dane gets natural twenty. Uh, at a disadvantage, I'm still at an eighteen. Uh, you're taking half of the half. So you're taking Six? five damage. Roll five. round down for that. You're taking okay. five damage. <clears throat> that is the end of Dane's turn. Yeah, yeah it's me. I'm over. It's the beginning of your turn. I should have done this at the beginning of the turn, but it, I'll, I'll have you do it at the beginning of the turn. Please make your constitution same throw. I, I get Vane, do you know what day of the week it is yet? <laughs> okay, who are you? Okay. Holy oh, wait, you Jesus! Me for... You, you, you said, me okay, for... so we have Dane and Vane, and we have Uziel and Israel, so you really have to enunciate. Enunciate is really important. <laughs> I said ancient in front of it. You did uh, not. Sorry. sorry. A so 16 I damage. Need... I need a con uh, save. Oh wait, that was that was in yours. Uh, yeah, please make a ancient vein. Please make a con saving throw. That's what I'm saying. You must add the vein. I did add. I did add the ancient. You in front did of it. not at all. Chat says yes. I don't care what chat says. Oh, <laughs> uh, you take eight damage. Poison ancient damage. Ancient vein rolls twenty. Uh, chat seven. didn't say anything. <laughs> don't, don't, don't tell him that. <laughs> it's cheating. Yes. <laughs> no, chat said yes. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you take eight poison damage as you inhale this cloud. Ancient Vein cannot see chat. Ancient Vein has poor computer. And everything is heavily obscured. <laughs> uh, so I did, I did complete my wisdom saving throw uh, before though. Yes. Last round. You are no so longer I should, confused. I am no longer confused. So uh, it's Friday. Yeah. So so Ancient Vein turns around away from the wall and says. Enough of this! <laughs> it is Friday and we have been attacking a bucket of blood for an hour and a half. They needs tea time! <laughs> and he's going to use his breath weapon, which, ah, is made of, no. which is made of acid. And he's going to try to melt the entire thing. And he Thank is you for tired. The... Roll, roll your acid damage. Well, I wanna I wanna click the the thing for the breath weapon because I have a lot of random stuff with my breath weapon, like because uh, I have a very unique dragonborn. Congrats, so, you're, in, you're invisible to a you're invisible to a pot. Yes, I I get the invi uh, invisibility. <laughs> Are you using a line or is it gonna be a cone? Uh, it is a line and it is directed straight at the uh, straight at the uh, pot to minimize damage to other people because he hates the pot. 
So am I affected? Ah! If you guys can see that. That was badass. Yeah, I saw that. Wait a minute. I, I, it was Ooh. fleeting. Very fleeting, but. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm still what, going. What, what yeah, happened? special effects. Yeah, there's some oh, special effects okay. on the map. Hold on, because I have not used my movement. And I actually. You just... said you were using your breath attack. Yes, I am using. I can move before I use a breath attack. Well, please say you move before you use it. I move before I use it. Okay. I have stated. And I can actually move up to 60. I didn't know that, but but I can actually move up to 60. Uh, so I am going to move right here, and I am going to do... As soon as you move, five feet. Oh, no. A tentacle comes up. It does not hit me. Actually, it does. I am flying. How far does the tentacle go? I have 20 feet in the air. You are flying speed of 60. The ceiling is 10 to, is is 20 feet. I am feet. aware. I am 20 feet in the air. As so you your said feet, before. your feet are at the bottom. At least if you're more than five feet tall. If I am flying, my feet go this way. They do not go down. I don't know how you fly, but not very fast in this building. I fly like Superman. That is how dragon fly. <laughs> how high is tentacle? But, I question tentacle. But Superman. Goes up and down when he stops flying. Superman Place. no here. Uh, mm. This is why you can only catch tiny birds. <laughs> I, I, you tiny tuxedo hamster ball, be quiet. <laughs> the tentacle reaches up and grabs your foot, and it slips out as you continue to fly. Thank you. Tra Ancient Vane was was concerned that tiny little tentacle would manage to grab giant dragon leg, and. And he goes, and he does breath weapon. He becomes, uh, he becomes invisible, so Tentacle will no longer try to attack. Uh, the, the pot is invisible. You're invisible to the pot. You're invisible okay. to who you hit. Okay. Are you and hitting, are you hitting the pot? I will attack the or, pot. Or are you, are, or atta are you attacking the slime? I, I, well, is the slime in the pot? I the slime the is in the pot. Yes. I am, I am attacking... I am attacking the slime within the pot because okay. I can see it from my vantage point. Uh, you're going to have to make another wisdom saving throw for me. <laughs> this is my favorite creature ever. <laughs> I can tell. It has taken you an hour and 20 minutes to attack with it. This is the godlike creature. Ancient vein rolls a nine. As you go to do it, your breath kind of changes angle. And it's going to hit Uziel. Well, it is a very powerful breath weapon. So that is not good for Uziel. Roll your breath weapon. It is very, very powerful. One would say the most powerful weapon that Dragon Vein, Ancient Vein has. Uh, actually, I will need to roll it in uh, in uh, roll 20 just naturally because it's not Yeah, gonna that's, that's fine. All right. So... Uh, what does he have to uh, roll to avoid it, first and foremost? Okay, so... The DC for this saving throw equals eight plus your con mod plus your proficiency. I have uh, a six in proficiency, a nine in con, so that's a 15, uh, plus eight. So uh, the DC is 23. <laughs> oh, God. I believe you said 23, but I think what you meant was 14. <laughs> no, it is a very good breath weapon. Can you roll this breath weapon? <laughs> so, uh, the Please damage is 5d6 acid damage. No, uh, no, 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 no. Can you roll the breath weapon? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, right. my God. Please, please r roll your roll your saving throw, uh, Uziel. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what you said what saving throw it is. Uh, the, the saving throw is 23. For what stat? Oh, uh, hold on. Uh, oh, it's a, to attack, it's a dexterity 15, I think is what it's. Oh, you have to make dexterity attack. Oh, a dexterity that, saving throw. Uh, well, it that. says the DC for this saving throw. That's what we're looking for, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. The DC yes. for this saving throw is 23, and it has a con modifier, so I'm going to assume con. Constitution? Let me, let me look at the character real quick. Hold on. Uh... Probably for the poison damage or take half. Why are we killing each other? Poison. That's what I want to know. I'm attempting to kill half. this slime. 
Because this creature is one of my greatest creatures ever. I am just very dumb. <laughs> I won't. I won't argue that. He is a very strong person. Uh, dragon. No, very... it is a deck save. Okay, the fifteen dexterity. So I need to roll a natural twenty, or I take full damage. Wait, you have a negative five strength. mod? My bad. Wrong. Wrong. Wrong click. You have 21. a 21! Oh, that's so close! Wait, that's actually, but it's plus 2, so 23. But if I remember correctly, the tie goes hey. to the attacker. Tie goes to the, go to the attacker. No! Is how you have I have been before. defeated! And I thought it went to whoever was rolling. Like, so, I thought you won ties on saves. I usually go to the attacker, but for the sake of not destroy, it's up destroying to you. him. You can, can, I can take damage, it's fine, I don't care. Does, oh, he take, yeah. does he take you half damage. Take damage? No, let's just have him take half damage. Roll your roll your thing. Roll your yeah, damage. Because it, it's uh it's half on a yep. um, it doesn't matter, you still take damage. Roll your roll your damage. You, you take eleven damage from giant breath weapon. Uh and and for the record, if you if it is aiming towards Uzil, then technically Uz, uh Israel is also in there. Israel's in the pot. Oh, Israel yeah. is actually physical. You're, yeah, you're I'm in the, the area. Oh, well, so in like the angles, if it's a direct line. It, it, it is a direct line, so it is, but he is flying, so it's going down. Yeah. That's what I mean. So, yeah. like, it's not. It's only going to be. It's only going to hit you. <laughs> Which is fine. That's uh. It would have hit the pot for 22 acid. But vain, vain. We have practiced this for weeks. How have you missed? <laughs> I did not miss. Oh, are you not the pot? Oh, I are am you sorry. not the pot, Vane? It is hard to see up here. I have Vane, bad eyesight. Vane, uh, you need to practice your flying and your eyesight. Do you have a bonus action, Ancient Vane? Uh, I'm debating whether to to uh, uh, hit him with a cantrip because he insulted my flying. <laughs> but uh, but ancient Vane thinks better of it because he did inform him that it was uh, that it was uh, 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 Friday. Uh, now can I do uh, uh, a cantrip? Did you say a cantrip is a? Is a cantrip? As long as it's a bonus action cantrip, yes. Which are like heals and spiritual weapon. There's not very many bonus action cantrips, so luckily. Bonus. The spiritual action. weapon is not a cantrip. Oh, oh yeah, that is a spell. That is true. As no, long as there's bonus action. Bonus but action. I do you have a spiritual weapon as a bonus action. I do actually have a bonus action though, which is Shadow Blade. Okay, uh, cast Shadow Blade for me. Yes, counts as a simple melee weapon. All right. Uh, so how to send spell card, and then I just cast it. Yep. So out of your hand, a shadow-like blade emits. It's basically the opposite of Uziel, and you kind of look cooler. Now, uh... Not you, really. Uh, when do you... Hold on, what do you use the attack? Uh... It dissipates when the spell... So, can I throw the sword at the same time? Uh, no. Throwing the sword would be an attack on it. Yes. Bonus action is to summon it. So you used your action to breathe weapon at Uziel. And I say... Pot, you have taken up all of my tea time. I am not happy. Ancient Vane needs to do what they call golfing. At the start of your turn. All right, so that's your turn. Ancient Vane uh, my right. turn. Israel, uh, guess what? Um, <laughs> I, I'm really sorry about you. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, take you 36 were. damage. And did I? It's necrotic, so he takes half. It is, it is, uh... You stated 18. it was necrotic earlier. It is, it is, you are correct, it is necrotic. <laughs> well, I have 17 HP. So, um... So, uh, you're down. I, I am down. I think I am dead. Because you I'm... You are unconscious. You're, you're not dead unless you... You're not dead, man. You I, 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 I can Uzeel. resurrect you. You see, Uzeel. I could have resurrected me. You guys see Israel <laughs> stop flailing, and his body goes limp. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Tiny angel human, why have you fallen? Fellow Doro, what are you doing? I think I can respond. Shut <laughs> 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 <Get me around. laughs> uh, Please make a constitution saving throw for me. Okay. 
Dane, I didn't forget that you are poisoned for the Constitution saving throw. So next time I'll count it as a disadvantage. Jesus. People. Sadness. You guys really suck at rolling, won't lie. That, I didn't <laughs> say that on stream. Oh, you Perhaps take 24. Make easier pots. <laughs> 24 poison damage. Okay. Bubble will make total party kills with with bubble pot. Oh, it's the first bubble enemy, guys. <laughs> So We've only I... done like a hundred some damage to this thing. Maybe Not... two hundred at this point. I mean, yeah, well, yeah, we'll say yes. I feel like we're not doing any damage to this thing. I'm gonna but start yeah, doing it all the wonder round, and you're gonna hear the same ear piercing noise as before from Shatter, but then I'm just gonna start. <laughs> no, that was a minor illusion. And then, so that's my action, and then as my bonus action. I'm gonna heal um, Israel with my. Like, what was your bonus action? Celestial just kidding, feature. Just kidding. What was your bonus action? Uh, healing light from being a celestial. Oh, okay, so okay. I can heal is, him for five d six. Isn't that a touch? No, it's a uh, sixty feet. Jeez. Louise. Healing word, yeah, is a distance. No, he's got a certain thing for him as well. I think. Okay, roll oh, your healing. Nineteen. 19 HP. Nice. I'm so, um... Tiny oh, here angel it human, you have woken up. I do not, not know why you slept. On my turn. <laughs> that one is touch. Yeah, Gritter is. Yeah. Oh, you do healing light. Okay. One plus your warlock level. Which would be 18, so 19. Yeah, but I can only spend five of them at a time. What? Okay. Oh, wait. So I don't get 19 back? No, that's how much you get. Oh, yeah. I, there's that a... Is what he rolled. That's, that's pretty dope. All right. Indeed. What are you going to do with your action itself? Uh, Will I cast that minor illusion, kind of, as a okay. prank? I'm, like, healing people. Like, pure, being a purely nice action, that kind of irks my more devilish side. Most definitely. So I had to play a little trick on him too. Uh, you guys kind of brace for impact. Did you hear the sound? And nothing happens. <laughs> Uzil, you are up. Oh yeah, you are no longer technically dead. Unconscious. I was never dead. No, I'm talking about Israel. Israel. <laughs> And there's lots of eels here. There's eels and Listen, eels. you guys gave your own names, okay? Not me. You guys are really struggling on this monster. I'm sorry. Ancient Vane had first name. <laughs> you speak for yourself. Uziel is not struggling. Uziel never struggles. Uziel's turn and go. Uziel will attack the monster with his weapon. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, 23 to hit. Yeah. Are you attacking the, the, the... What are you attacking exactly? The ooze or the tentacles? The main body. Okay, thank you. You slash oh, upon God. itself and you, can, you kind of tear into it and blood just flecks across and then like it blubs like... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Kind of like... I won't say it because we don't want to get demonetized. Thank you. Uh... And then, bonus action! Do Second the first, even the first! Attack with my... 16 to hit! You, 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 you do it, you hit. 12 radiant damage. Not quite as much. That's still more than what is done to you. <laughs> it's going to flutter a little bit. And Uziel, you have offended the the tentacles. As was my intention. And it goes to go to slap you, and you kind of hits your blade, and it grabs your blade, and it cuts itself, and it just blobs down, um, and doesn't really do anything. Uh, I forgot to have you make a Constitution save with it. That's my fault, so I won't have you do that. Um, but I will have you do another.
Hold on, I'm sorry. There's a lot of spells here, okay? <laughs> oh, please make a wisdom saving throw! Wisdom, okay. Wisdom! Ooh. Woo! A natural. Sir, you I are. I rolled an 11. You are now confused. On the start of your turn, you will roll a 1d10 for me. Doesn't he have to roll the 1d8 to go to a different part of the room? It depends on what, it, it, it depends on what, what he rolls. I, I believe I rolled an 11. Yes, yes, That's you failed. That's for the wisdom. <laughs> you have a 10. And or a 13. I rolled a 13 technically. Dane. Uh, please make a constitutional saving throw oh, for him. Actually, no, it dropped because it cast the confusion. You are good. All set. So it is your turn, Dane. Ah, right. Okay. Um, is the bowl still in one piece? The bowl is still basically in one piece, but you can see uh, anything right now that upsets it is going to break the bowl. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? I'm going to get ready for whatever happens after that. Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna use my bonus action to continue heating the metal. Roll <laughs> your damage. You got it, man. They don't like you very much, Israel, because you take 11 damage as well. Mm -hmm. is, is he touching the bowl? Yes, he is inside the damn bowl. <laughs> ah, farts. Well, sorry, dude, trying to get this the thing The bowl open. falls apart. Uh, Uzil, the slime, the tentacles kind of just go up around you and they just flood you. Um, Ancient Vein, are, you can can you maintain flying? Is the question, or do you have to land? That is the question for you. You're muted. Are you talking to me? Yes. Yep. Ancient so Vein. I can, he said. He said. I can continue uh, uh, flying without exhaustion after level sixteen. Okay, only. Uh, only Uzil will take this, then. Actually, not right now. It's the start of his turn, so I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and cast Greater Restoration on myself with my action. Okay. I'm going to try and cure whatever whatever's going on, this 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 sickness. Where I'm exploding and hurting my allies. <laughs> the it's... Shadow Realm sickness? Uh, yeah, you, or... you already know that the Shadow Realm sickness you cannot heal. You were told oh, this by. Oh, I cannot heal, and I know that. Yep, you were told this by Uzil earlier. Got it. Ah, uh, farts. Yeah, All this right. is well, not the normal sickness that I usually heal you from. <laughs> it's going to take about three, four, five days to heal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just gonna I'm gonna sit there and just just continue waiting. Okay. See what happens next. I, there's really nothing I can do at this point. Get her off. What are you doing? Oh, at the start of the turn, you get to roll your 1d6 to see if you get your breath weapon back, sir. Yes, I do. I remember that part with your feet. Garroth rolls five. Garroth needs roll six. Why Garoth is it not a five and a six like a normal dragon is my question. Because he's not a normal dragon. I am a very odd dragon. That's very judgmental of you, he's Zeal. A it's, All right. uh, he is a black dragon. We do, do not you, like their it, it, the, the reason that uh, the reason it's only a six is because I can make my breath weapon a cone or a line. Yeah. Okay. What do you uh, What are you gonna do with your turn now? Okay. So uh, even though he has a a sword in his hand, uh, he would like to uh, actually cast lightning lure on uh, on Uzil. What? So, he <laughs> to cast lightning lure on Uzil. Okay, that, I, okay, I, okay, I heard right. Um, yeah, G give me, give me a second because I might alter it uh, with with my sorcery points here. Please right. alter it with your sorcery points. <laughs> well, it, it would it would only do one d eight lightning damage, and it can pull him ten feet. So in theory, because I'm twenty feet up, it can pull him out of the ooze that he keeps taking damage from. He's gonna fall back in the ooze. No, my lightning lure uh, uh, would would grab him. He does not maintain flying. Your lightning lure does not maintain a grapple. It only pulls. Okay. <laughs> uh, I can move and then do it, but every time I move, that something happens, and he is tired of that. So uh, instead, 
give me a second to find out what's the deal with the shadow blade here. Um, he will. He he might do the shadow blade. Uh, Unluckily, right. he is not part dragon, so he cannot fly. But is well, I, I was trying to help. I him. mean, I can. You once, can fly. Once a day. <laughs> Uziel can fly, not Uziel. Well, they both can. I fly, can. But, yeah, they're, they're both as once a day. Once a day. Yeah. <laughs> once a day. Right. Okay, so uh, I am going to. Uh, I am actually just going to throw the weapon. I think at uh, at the uh, at the blob there at the, at the at the center mass, which I'm in. By the way, that square shows. Um, the range that the ooze broke out, and that is where it is oozing out to. That's fine. It just needs 10 feet. Or 20 feet. So it's right. going to throw. As you go to throw, please roll your hits. Thank you. And then immediately after, make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, okay, so... Uh, says, okay, says send spell card but it won't let me... Uh, it's 2d8. So well, it's, I'm using a uh, six-level spell. Oh, god dang. Or, or uh, uh, sorry, an eight-level an eight spell. Not, sorry. Uh, level. So, no, eighth or seventh, that's only 5d8. Yeah, 5d8. All right. Throw, so, uh, throw your, throw your, make your attack roll. 5d8, okay. So I just need to go over here. Five. Twenty-two. All right. Now, roll your wisdom saving throw for me. Again, Gareth is not the brightest. Or the wisest. Shush. Is Gareth it, rolls a five. Israel, I really feel sorry for you. I, I, I don't know why it's always you, but you're the closest person at this time of moment. For the record, he I'm tried to... I'm in the thing, so everyone's still attacking it. He Oop. tried to pull you out, um, and then uh, they said no. That is not. an action, unluckily, Dane. And it is not yeah, I think he anymore. did it by accident. Uh oh. Yep. Sorry, um, dude. So, uh, please roll again. <laughs> roll your attack again, since you would have advantage. Why would I have advantage? He is still grappled. Oh. Well, then wouldn't we just take the one that I already had? No, because you might crit. Oh. Okay. All right. Five D eight. All right. No, uh, roll your now, attack. Attack itself. Uh, the, the roll 20. Oh. Okay. Well, that was 5d8. That's the attack. No, no you got to no, hit. You got attack. to hit. Oh, in order to hit. Okay. Uh, so how do I... A spell attack. Hold on. You can just All roll right. a d20 for me. Okay. Let me do that. Two of them, actually. Okay. And I, well, I thought I did too, but all right, fine. He rolls a six and seven. That's a miss and a miss. There we go. A blade flies by your face, and it lands right in front of you, Israel. Um, well, I thought I was down again. No, you're still alive because the blade missed you. Oh. The DM decided to take a different course. Oh, okay. I didn't take a different course. You needed to roll to it. The DM took a different course. <laughs> uh, For your with, blade. With my bonus action, I would like to create another shadow blade because it dissipates as it's yep. thrown. It dissipates through there and it appears back into your hand. <laughs> well, well, no. It uh, if it's thrown, then it it's, it's at the gone. end of at the end of your turn, it dissipates. Yeah, it's my, at the end of my turn. Oh, uh, okay, so bonus, yeah, so, uh, but for my bonus action, I would like to cast Shadow Blade. So I can't So you're going to cast another spell? All right, what level? Yes, it's a, it's a, it's a bonus action spell. Yes, what uh, level? So I am going to cast it at probably level four. Okay. Yeah, Wait, uh, can level you, five, level five. Wait, can you cast a cantrip at a level? F it's, it's a, it's a. Uh, uh, oh, it goes up by your actual level. Oh, because you can't do a spell even if it's a bonus action. It should be a bonus. It's a bonus action. Uh, you didn't cast any of the spells, did you? No, you threw a weapon. No, I threw it. Yeah, you can, ca you can cast that. Yes. Okay. 
So, so yeah, I, I cast a uh, fourth level uh, shadow blade. As the shadows gather in your hand, the other blade disappears. Yeah, because it's going to. Yeah, it disappears because it's concentration. Well, it, it also disappears uh, because it's thrown. It only uh, it, dis- okay it if it's hit. Like if I if I physically jab. Israel, you are in the pool. You. Managed mm-hmm. to kind of get free a little bit through there. I do. You do. The kind of... DM is taking pity on you. <laughs> wow. Uh, so I'm out. You're taking uh, me out of the uh, the grapple. Yes. So I can get out now. You, you can stand up. Yes, and walk around and be free. Oh, so there, there's still an ooze there looking at you. You have yes. a pity uh, on grappling. <laughs> um, I would like to. Uh, heal myself because you know that's a thing I do and I really need it so I'm going to cast it at a third no wait fourth level cure wounds on myself oh okay so it doesn't roll for me um so I just do Okay, so it's four You have um, to either click the spell attack instead of the spell card. There's no spell attack, there's only a card. Fourth <laughs> level will be forty eight plus your wisdom. Um forty eight plus four plus since I'm a life cleric. Um, that, uh, Blessed Healer, first level or higher, sports HP decrease, oh, other than you, never mind. Uh, so I, I, so I just do maximum. So 48 plus four is, okay. um, eight times four is 32, 32 plus four is 36. 36. That's something, but not a lot. Okay. I'm trying to see what else I can do. It's an amount of health. It's an amount of health, but I'm at a low. Um. It's a, Just don't get oh, it. I know the breath weapon. Mentioned. Yeah. I don't, um. <laughs> yeah, that's an action. The party um, is getting confused by Bubble Jar. That is why we are laughing. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else I can really do. All right. You heal yourself. I don't wa- yeah, I healed myself. I got up and healed myself. Did you want to move away? If move- I did, I'd get an attack of opportunity. It would. You are correct. And I'm too low health right now. So, so you see Chip kind of just like flying in circles still in the air none of the tentacles are going for him so he's getting a little bored and he's just going kill and he just snaps his finger and casts power word kill on the news power oh, word that's... kill yeah oh god please click that for me okay <laughs> it's my one ninth level spell for the day chip what are you doing chip <laughs> Why wasn't this cast to begin with? I guess, I uh, guess, who knows what happens when somebody gets bored. There is literally <laughs> nothing I can do against this, is there? <laughs> oh my gosh. You see that it was, oh, as it flails around, and it just sinks into a puddle. And it stops. Tiny tuxedo hamster ball. Why did you not say that before? Because oh, he was not bored before. We were having fun. Holy jeez, Louise, people. <laughs> what is wrong with you, tiny hamster ball? <laughs> the jar is now dismantled. There is just blood flowing out of it. And you can now tell the blood is now unanimated. Below you guys, you guys can see a cell 
and you can kind of see maybe riding corpses down there. It's really hard to tell. It almost looks like they're below the ground itself, and you do see a door in the back how, there. I, uh, how big is this opening? It's a five foot between the cell wall and the wall. Are we still in the initiative now? No. Okay. Like, wherever you see the door, I just want to fly down to it. I have a fly feet of 60 feet, so that's why I'm asking if I can fit. I mean, right, like, right here, you see the cell right there? You see that right there? That's a cell. You said below, so when you said below, I assumed that there was something. No, like, you, you can kind of see bodies, but as you fly over it, there would be bodies. Who needs healing? Nope, okay. Ancient Vein is fine for now. Please help other tiny ones. Israel, I think you need healing. I did. I'm trying to save it up, so in case we battle this, uh... Yep, can you see if we can get into this cell? Um, okay. I Can I squeeze through it at all? He is tiny. Uh, I'll, I'll try to squeeze through these bars here, I guess. I look for some bars that look maybe a little warped, if there's any. Are you also there. flying? Uh, yeah, I want to get, like, How high are you off the ground? Uh, as high as I can be. Okay. If you fit through the bars, there's uh nothing in the in these bars. There you do see uh bodies on the floor and they are covered in a red slime. Uh can I go down and like poke at them with my wand? Oh no. <laughs> You're gonna go poke it with your wand, which one? Uh there are four bodies. Yep, what have I said about poking things there are with two your wand? Oh, wait, wait, pause for a second. How far away is 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 Chip right now? Like literally to me, how far away is he? He'd be like right here. Okay. Uh I yeah, so you're, I you're want right to here, cast Mage Hand to take the, the when I see this, I want to cast Mage Hand to stop the wand from touching the ooze. It doesn't touch the my, ooze, it would touch the dead wand. body that is covered in ooze. I say please do not touch the bodies. We already are running low on tea time. Let us just find the sword. How low are you going to get? Oh, yes, the sword. Yes, the thing that we are trying to get and or possibly destroy and or not. <laughs> how, low are you, how low are you going right now? Just low enough to reach my mage hand down to say no. And literally, my mage hand is going to look uh, like this. It's going to go. Now, people, I, I will let you know right now. Do you see these little tiny black dots? That is a, that is a cage. Yeah. There's oh, a door right here. My mage hand uh, is just going through the bars. It's like I'm Yes, I know. I'm letting the people who are walking know. As you walk ah. over there, Dane, you hear a grumble. And a zombie stands up. Guess what, guys? Just one? Oh, just one zombie at the moment, yes. Okay. So am I near it? Is Chip near it? Where are we talking about the zombie? It appeared on your map. It did not. It did ah. too. <clears throat> I see. Well, what? this is happening right here. The shillelagh. So, I, don't, uh, so. I have no idea where the zombie is. Look north. <laughs> for it is there. Because I can see is it on the, it, I can, I can it, see it's on, on the street. Is it past the uh, is it I'm going to hit it. Mars? Uh, okay. Dane, you are up. The zombie raises up. Oh. All right. Well, here it comes. Is it 27 hit? You smash it upon its face. All right. Sweet for 10 damage. Do, 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 do. <sighs> it looks at you. Its jaw is broken. Anything else with your uh, shillelagh weapon? Uh, I think I can only do one. I already used my bonus action yep, to did. cast that shillelagh. So. Uh, Chip, you uh, are up. Can uh, can we talk like in the midst of battle? I mean, or yes, not battle, not excessively. But I, I would say, please back away from zombie. Chip, you're yeah, up. I'm, I'm just going to fly through the bars towards the south away from the zombie and so we we should just look for the sword as you as you guys said. All right, the zombie 
stands with you, Dane, and is going to attack you. Very poorly. Yeah, nah. He's <laughs> like, yeah, nah. It's going to swing its arms. Yeah. And you kind of just step away from the first one. And you kind of duck the second one. It goes right above your head. You're off. You are in the air. It is your turn. Okay. So I have uh, I have the Shadow Blade already from before. Because I happen to have already cast it. So I'm just going to go around the cage here because I can't see said zombie. And and I say, Chip, please go find Sword. And I, I uh, uh, slash... Uh, uh, I slash down with the uh, uh, with the shadow blade, and because it's a fourth level shadow blade, it would do three uh, d eight of damage. Okay. And it, I am simply slicing it right down its skull. Three d eight. It take nine damage. That's pitiful. Your face is pitiful. Would you roll the hit to it? Uh, I don't think it does. Yeah, it's an attack. You are making a melee attack. Um, I know this because I want I I want to make a rogue with this. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know what it doesn't say. Uh, it's a normal melee attack, so yeah. it'll, it'll be your dex or your strength. Uh, so it would be well, it really doesn't matter, so. So I just roll a d20 plus two. Yep, and then your actually was. plus uh, plus two uh, plus two again for for Pally. Why are you getting so, things from Pally? Pally doesn't give you plus two to attack. Well, no. that's what I was asking. I don't know. No, no. only saving throws. throws. Ancient Vein rolls a ten. Okay, and then you you'd miss. Urgh. And you the shadow blade kind of. Scrapes along its side, but doesn't really do any real damage. Israel, are you all right. Your so turn? this is a zombie, and I am a cleric. Um, <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go up to it. I can go through people, right? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I'm going right here, and I'm gonna attack her with this mace of disruption, which is uh, uh, very unhealthy for it. What does mace of disruption do for me? This is when you hit a fiend or undead with this magic weapon, that creature takes 2d6 radiant damage. If the target has 25 hit points or fewer after taking this damage, it must succeed on DC 15. Wisdom saving throw will be destroyed. How much or less? DC 15. Okay. No, the hit no how, much, how much hit points? 25 or less. Okay. Roll your, roll your hit. You slash across this thing and you do 4 damage to it. Mm-hmm. And... Okay, so once it's below it, what what savings do I have to make? Wisdom. Wisdom. What do I have to do now with my poor old um, zombie? It's 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 a uh, it's dead. It's destroyed. Oh, this zombie is this is a, this is a turn on is this a turn on dead feature? No, this is mace of disruption. When you fit, hit or fiend or an undead with this magic weapon, that creature takes an extra two d six radiant damage. If the target has twenty five hit points or fewer after the, taking this damage, mix the seed on. And the DC 15 wisdom saving throw will be destroyed. And then successful save, the creature becomes frightened of you until okay. then. Alright, uh, it does the, it does get destroyed then. <laughs> I'll just section it because it has advantage on turned undead kind of features. <clears throat> yeah, but not I'm actually it's just part of the weapon. It just destroyed it. It crumbles yeah. in the dust. As it falls down in the dust, it blue a red ooze just falls to the ground and splats in blood. All right, that would be my turn since there's nothing else. All right. I think, yep. Yeah. Are we still in turn order? I appear it's not because you have just turned it off. It is correct. Has Chip found the sword yet? Chip has not found the sword yet. He's found the door. Can I open this door as I open the last? Oh, yes. <laughs> and as you open the door, again, it just seemed the handle just falls off of it. And it swings open. Ahead of you, you see an iron door on the pathway going north and south. Was there any treasure in that room with the ooze? Not that you found. <laughs> there were shards of pot. 
Uh, maybe the pot was the treasure. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. You said the door was iron, right? It is an iron door, yes. I say, everyone, please stand back. Oh, God. Near? You got it. Uh, and I am going to cast, because if I do this, I actually get uh, an affinity, uh, a resistance to fire as well. Uh, because fire melts iron. It just takes a lot of it. And so I am going to cast... Uh, actually, I'm specifically going to say, uh, please stand back 20 feet away from me. That's very specific, but I'll do that. That is very specific. If I was to measure some sort of thing, I think it would be about uh, 20 feet. No, I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> yeah, while he's doing that, can I explore this over here? What, what's on this table? Uh, just random tools to carve people and sacrifice people. I'm I'm going to cast Incendiary Cloud directly on the iron door. Okay. It, it, you see the door kind of melt and just fall apart in front of you. And I'm going to spend an extra sorcery point, and I now have fire resistance for the next hour. Okay. And mm -hmm. I go through the door. Inside the door. Walking, by the way. Inside the door, you see... Parts of the wall has fallen. Parts of the ceiling has fallen. This is this is debris all over the floor. There does not appear to be any more map. It is a wall. <laughs> it is a room. Gosh darn it. It is a room. I would like uh, to look in the empty room for a sword. Uh, roll an investigation check for me. Garoth is concerned about his investigation roll. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're worried. Draw it. Garoth rolls a five. Not even with that roll, no. He looks at U U Uziel and he says, uh, uh, he says, Angel human who is not devoured, please investigate room for sword. I cannot find it. I don't think it's here. We must move on. Well, I have bad eyesight, so maybe it might be. Uh, Dane, do you want to make an investigation check for me as well since you're in that room? I sure do. You see a tablet under some rocks. Oh, it's an iPad. Let's go ahead and pick it up. Oh, wait. Uh, slowly. Let's go ahead. Uh, can I investigate if there's any traps? There, you don't <laughs> see any traps. You do pick it up, and you see... On this tablet, hold on, sorry, you see four gems on this tablet. It is sapphire, emerald, ruby, and topaz from top to bottom. Is there is there any other markings? Nope, just those four gems. I know the answer gems. to this. And I say, in, in the first room, there were several statues of varying hues. Because dragons have poor eyesight, but they are not colorblind. Let's go. Let's go check out that room then. Which one? Let's go they check out the main room, the main area. corridor. Ah, oh, they're already in it. Okay, you guys. Are uh, by the way, room. Chip and Uzeel and everybody who's going through that, you do see a door below you. That is wooden door below you as well when you walk yeah, through. Yeah, I'm pulling on it. Find the sword. Find the sword. It is locked. Though you do see the thing where you can attempt to attempt to pick the lock. Chip. Uh, Chip. Chip, do you know knock? I uh, like no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Are you are you moving me, Bubba? Because I I'm can't not. move up. You you moved inside of a wall. That's why you couldn't move up. There you go. Okay, but, back to the main room then. We have we need like, to find I, a key for that door. Oh, uh, can yeah. I cast shatter on the door? <laughs> You go to cast Shatter, yes. <laughs> Who's casting Shatter, by the way? Chip? Ch chip. Okay, please roll your Shatter. I will. At level 5, because... Yeah. <laughs> because, yeah. <laughs> because, yeah. You see the door, the lock just shatters, but you need to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Oh, oh dear. Giant shards of wood come at tiny little hamster ball man. 
One second. <laughs> uh, cool. Can uh, it's doing that oh, thing no. won't let me move again. If you'll move me in the center of that big room. Uh, blades come out and Ow. slash across, and they do hit you for 52 damage. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> but you did break the lock. And the door. Hey. And the door. You broke the door as well. Congrats. Hey. Um. So I see that happen. Mind the blades. You hear. You hear probably a scream and like the door yeah, kind of break I, apart. I look back oh, around shit. the corner. Inside, you shit. see another. Dr what, what? What happened? You I see have, almost an elf look, look at you, and you can see the scales along his face, and he looks at you. Person, imp. What? Oh. And he continues to walk. Chip, 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 what happened? Whoa, 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 who's that guy? Who's that guy? Let's go, let's go get that guy. Stop. I, okay, I, guys. Are you guys really going to fight another person? I heard, I heard, I heard Chip Fox. scream. Another. Hello? Chip, are you okay? I, I'm a little cut up, but I'm, wait, wait, I'm good hold on. to go. Do you need healing? Because I can provide that. No, healing. That's healing. What I'm here for. I would like oh, healing. Geez. And he continues to walk around. He, he's like, Hold on, can I, can I cast man, a spell on him? You're going to cast a spell on him. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to cast uh, Earthbind. What? Now, for, for the sake of being nice to you, I'm going to ask you this question. Are you sure you wish to cast a spell on him? Like I, I want to hold <laughs> Okay, so knowing Bubba as a DM the way that I do, any time that you cast a spell on somebody without permission, it normally means I die. So I, I'm just saying that you might <laughs> As in you're to about to kill Evan. So like, it's not even that you're going to die. It's that specifically I'm somehow going to die. <laughs> I'm asking us not to do that. <laughs> All right, that's fair. I just wanted to keep, just hold him still. Uh, I, so if you yell him. at him, you might get his attention. Okay. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, excuse me. Oh, oh, God. Hi. There's somebody actually here. You can see he's kind of like, there's a little bit of madness in his eyes. He's uh, unsure well, can if you're I, real. What, can, I, can I go ahead and, and get a little insight on him? What's what's going on? Do I know? Ooh, ooh. Uh, he looks like he's an elf that is... I don't want to say afflicted, but he is a a dragon sorcerer, and you can see part of his body being taken up by uh, scales. Um. Okay. We need Where a we need a one? dragon guy or a cleric. All I'm, right. I'm gonna holler out for the crew. Back to the other two people over here. As you guys enter this, you do see a dragon statue. You see four gems of different colors along the path as well. Uh, now, I know that Dane is, is elsewhere, uh, but for the sake of time and for the sake of the fact that I don't remember the order... No. Nope. Uh, nope. What? Nope. You made us do an hour and a half on a bubble. Listen, I didn't make you do <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's true, he didn't, he didn't make us do any of that. You guys could have literally just went, You guys could have closed the door and been on your way, Okay. <laughs> I yeah, this giant it was blood red, bubble. green, blue, yeah. topaz. Isn't topaz blue? What? And there's a yellow. There's a yellow in there. That is topaz! Yellow is topaz? Yes! Yes. Oh. yes. He's right. <laughs> I would... I would uh, so what is what is the order, uh, uh, Paladin? I believe, if I remember correctly, that it was red, green, blue, topaz. Okay, so I uh, uh, I uh, touch the red with my mage hand. I'll would, go to the green. As you, uh, which one you want to step and touch? I am not stepping anywhere. <laughs> I am flying above it slightly and touching it with a mage hand. Which one to are you touching? The red one. Mage hand. You touch it with mage hand, and nothing happens. Of course it doesn't, because you can't make things easy. Listen. <laughs> I have played over ten episodes with you. Uh, I would, uh, uh, I will say, fine, for the sake of my tea time. And I touch the head of the red dragon. I say, want to examine the statue in the middle. Okay, uh, well, uh, looking at the statue itself, hold on. 
Gotta go through my reading here. Hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Where is my words? In your mouth. Are they, though? Listen, okay? Don't start me on this. Stop four questions right now. When, when like was I supposed to start with you? Ah, there it is. When the season of night ends, the light of life emerges anew. Life unchecked brings chaos until it is eventually declined. Begin the cycle of order once again, and again once more. I agree. I am still touching red statue. Uh, I will go and touch the the green statue. Alright, so as you you're what okay. Ancient Vane, please move yourself to the thing you're going to touch. First and I foremost. I cannot, because my thing does not work. You must do it for me. Thank you. <laughs> Ancient Vane, as you approach the red one, you feel an intense heat come across you. Fresh grass and a little bit of the ocean. Technically, I dive down on it, but okay. And you touch it? I have touched it with my claw. And who's touching the next item? I am touching the green one. The green. I ask, I say, tiny hamster ball man, please touch blue statue. As you, as you I approach the blue one here. Oh, where are we here? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Green one, green one. As you, this, you feel a warm breeze around you. And you smell fresh flowers. Alright, we're gonna cut back to Dane. Dandelion. Wait, Chip was with Dane. Get back there. <laughs> Dane! Oh, never mind. What happened? Tiny red one. Dane, the old man, the old, not really old, the warlord basically approaches you. Uh, and he goes, Ah. Oh, I'm gonna what keep are my you distance, here by for? The way. Every step he takes, I'm backing up. Okay. Every move he makes. What are you here for, sir? Every breath he breathes. Okay. Um, hello. Hi. I'll be watching you. How how are you? I'm good. I am yeah. waiting for Nakanda. Who's that? Roll a persuasion check for me. Okay, I'm good at these. I'm a persuasive little guy. Um, yeah, so who who's this Nakonda, you say? Nakonda. Wakanda, you hear me uh, oh. say it last <laughs> She... No, all the way back there. <laughs> she is Vathmorn Minthas's wife. Her, his lover. Uh, do I know he, any of these nope, words? Nope, we do not know the, the <laughs> name. She followed him even after the betrayal. The, well, and she was betrayal? sealed here with her sword. Betrayal? Oh, sword! Uh, sword! We, um, we took, uh, uh, we took Vethmon and we dismembered him. So, how do we get the sword you were mentioning? The sword is in with her. Uh, Touch the stones to seal her. Open to retrieve the sword. And watch out for that little rat to cross. You do not see a rat. That the is rat? The rat? Yeah, he's pointing to like an imaginary rat. He is, I've, he is I've heard mad. cat before, but that's just rude. What did you say, Imp? Oh, sword coffin. It's in. We have to Open the coffin to get the sword. Uziel, do you get what he's asking? Uziel is not there. Only Uziel. Dane. What? Dane and Chip what? are together. What Dane? happened? I heard my name. What else will uh, happen if we open the coffin? Chip! Chip, where are you? <laughs> Ooh, do they have a telepathic link, actually? That's a valid question. Yes, actually, actually do. You will unseal Vikanda. Oh. And unleash her upon this world. Do I hear what Chip's hearing? 
You don't hear what Chip's hearing. It's not like uh, radio. Chip would have to talk to me. Yes. Okay. I'm relaying it and um, open the seal. The the sword is buried with, with the lady. What lady? I, I yes. don't know. Yes, you touch it to reseal, or you open casket to retrieve. Open, I, open the casket so we can get the sword. Don't touch the casket. How did you get here? Chip, do not touch the casket. He. I want to ask the warlord how he got here. I was sealed in here with Nakanda. When? I do not know. Hmm. If I would tell you, uh, you see him think for a second, and... One, two years. An amount of time greater than zero. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, actually, I mean, look it up all the way, because that's a natural 20. I've been here... Since year 787 of the blood. For those at home, there's a whole lore. Like there's a, there's a whole world lore here going on. That's that's uh so so the dates that he's giving are uh, are important. Eris, Eris. Particular. Uh, we yeah. will be starting to post Sunru videos on All right. YouTube shortly. You don't need to do that right now. We'll do that at the end. <laughs> All right. And he starts to walk away mindlessly, just. Walking around, uh, dragging a sword. I need another down. person to touch a statue. I go and touch the uh, topaz yellow. I want to go investigate this room over here. That's another what door. Are... Uh, uh, you see Chip. gravestones. Chip. We we need your help, Chip. Well, yeah, it's... where where are you? Are, are it, there any? Hey, take the door to the right. Take another right, and we're okay. in that room. <laughs> uh, there are names written on there. Um, unless you know Elvin. And I am an elf. So you know Elvin. <laughs> uh, you you can read the Elvin names on there. Um, if you want, I can look it up for you. Nope. Or I can make up names for you. <laughs> I, no, I say, I say tiny hamster ball. Take to, uh, touch the blue statue, please. What did I say again? I saw. Yes. Yes. And I go over to the blue statue. As you yeah, approach... As you approach the blue statue you feel a chill surround you it can you can feel crisp fresh air and as you touch this you see a force kind of a bluish purple force surround this statue and then it emits across you and you guys almost get pushed back As you do, as you touch unknown statues. Mm. And then so the gems does, lose does their push, color. I'm I'm flying. Does it push me anywhere? Yeah, it pushes you back too as well. You're doesn't matter whether you're flying or standing. Well, well no, I, I thought it would push me more. Well. I mean, you can maintain your flight just as well as anybody, so. Okay. Can I investigate this statue? Uh, yeah, statue? Uh, it is a it is a, now a dragon statue. You can tell there is a lid. It is technically a lid to it. Um, but you can see there is a magic now sealing it again. Um, and there is a lyric on the front there. And the lyric reads, again, When the season of night ends, the light of life emerges anew. Life unchecked brings chaos until it eventually declines. Begins the cycle of order once again. And again, once more. I want to investigate this tomb that's at the end, end of the room. Oh, is there a tomb now? Yeah, this is, this is what the elf said that we need to push over. The Can sword's the in this tomb. The hand of magic, please move me near the tomb. I thought we just sealed it. We are now unsealing the thing because we can do so. We All have right. the power. I have the power. And like He-Man, I, I wish to touch the coffin. <laughs> Man. All right, back, go to push. A bit. Uh, someone roll me in athletics if you're going to push it open. Please, please, everyone stand back because this dungeon is not very forgiving. Uh, I know. And 18. I, uh, <laughs> can I assist him? <laughs> you can assist him, which is an 18. Still an okay. 18. You going to shove it aside as, uh, and it does not budge. 
I shall rule. Do five this, of us need to touch it? This tomb is very secured. Maybe we should check in other areas of the place. Can I Let's take my... the tomb as the as the human who got uh, eaten says? Hoo, hoo. You can also look at the tablet. Contents. I forgot what the color I, order was. On the tablet. I said we shall touch the stones again, then try opening at the same time. Uh, the magic man said something, but I could not hear him. Oh, uh, do I have the tablet? Can I pull the tablet out and look at the colors again? Uh, the colors are now basically turned off. Like, they no longer radiate. But they are uh, red, green, yellow, blue. Um, and who has the guild contract? Did you guys take it with you or leave it? Dang. I think Dane had it. Dane, you feel a... I was the last one that had it, but... Oh. Then Zukalu has Z it. Uh... Uziel, in your pocket, you feel not a burning sensation, but like something wiggling in there. And you hear like a scritch of a pen. I I pull out the the wrinkled piece of paper because I kind of bolted it up as I put it in my pocket. I unwrinkle it and I look at it. And at the bottom, you see being scribbled, thank you for resealing the tomb. It is much appreciated. I and thank you we again. Saw, we helped the pony people for the choosing unicorns. the pink prancing unicorn. I, it has I, been cleansed. I, I guess we accidentally sealed the something or other. Very good. You do look at the thing and you look where the, re the requirements. It says redo the seal on the conda or destroy her her and the sword. Oh, it's not both. I thought it was both. I, I look at the paper uh, so and I we, say... we resealed the tomb, I guess. Prancing you guys pony have... people, what do you give us for a reward? And written... I tap on the paper, see if there's any response. As you're, as you're tapping, just calm down, calm down, I can only write so fast. <laughs> Go oh, to quick. Milfark and find our guild... And you receive your reward. Can we have a clue of what it is first? I may go somewhere else. It depends on what it is. Uh, magical items? Like oh, a pot okay. of magical items? Okay. Question? As long as there okay. are no uh, cauldrons. I do not like cauldrons. You want I cauldron? used to, but not anymore. Not I'm going to continue searching the dungeon because we haven't looked into all the areas yet that we have access to. Yeah, there's, to. there's a door over here by this elf. There is. There's also an opening over here. Uh, by the way, Uziel, as you walk over there, you see a pool, and in the pool, you see blood stains all over the place. And there is a mm -hmm. blue circle, which you can tell would be a magic circle. I assume this was to cleanse the sword. But we've sealed it away. But where uh, is the sword? We have not seen the sword yet. The si it sword is, is now sealed. The, si the sword is sealed, man. It's magic. So. I understand that we did a seal, but we have not seen the sword in that we sealed. And now we will never so, see it. looking at the tomb before, you would see that it, 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 on the tomb, it, there's a person holding a sword. That's carved out of stone. That's carved out of stone, so maybe you would assume the, the sword is with her. Bah, mm. Stupid Can sword. Can I try to break it open? Stupid cauldrons. Why? Let us go and get treasure. <laughs> Let's unseal the sword now and, and destroy No, her. all right. So we have sealed the sword, I guess. Or we have uh, completed... Inadvertently, yes. Or you guys can break the, break the tomb and retrieve the sword if you wish. I, we already have our reward. We yeah, we done. have sealed the sword, which accomplishes one of the, the two of the, the accomplishments that I was accepting. Dane, are hey, you trying no. to unlock that door? I would like to, yes. Please, yes, please roll me a sleight of hand. Oh boy. As you do it, um, chain lightning, lightning comes out of here. Oof. Um, and please, uh, Dane, Galaroth, Ezreal, okay. Uziel. 
that's that's not fair that's to have me right there because you've literally moved me. I have not moved. I should not take that penalty. I physically <laughs> cannot move my character. Don't put me in the way of that. I don't know why you can't move your character. You can move your character all the time. No. I, it stays it like it stays in one place. I can't jerk it, so I don't want to get hit by chain lightning. You can't <laughs> jerk it. Here, here, I'll move that you closer. Like a personal problem. <laughs> you were like, huh, what's going on? What are you doing? <laughs> Dragons are reptilian. They don't have these particular organs. Forty-one damage shoots out and hits you. Fuck! That really hurt. And it manages to hit everybody. Please, everybody, please make a dexterity saving throw, though. So this is a spell, right? Yes. So, uh, I get it. 20. I get a plus two to my saving throws, actually. Which I have yet to use. I got uh, an 11. Uh, you have advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. And spell text. Yeah, actually, I do too. <laughs> so, I get advantage on that. So, so as the, the lightning comes out, you guys all kind of just duck out of the way. Oh. And it misses Dane and it hits against the wall and shatters against the wall. Oh, so I uh, I rolled dexterity, right? Yes, you're good. Okay, so I that, that, also that's, that's am fine. a shield master. That's fine. So it misses everybody, and the door does open. Let me go to the dynamic lighting here. Da -da -da. It's uh, the same door. room you were in. Oh, hi again! Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna... Did you guys reseal the conda? Yep. We did yes. that. The kind of, uh, you see him walk towards the sarc the uh, dead body sarcophagus. Is anybody it, gonna step into his way? Nope. We're gonna go ahead and leave. Back it up. I'm gonna it's start heading out the north. Where the... Where are you going? Are you okay? Make the decision right now. Are you guys leaving or are you guys leaving Uziel? Well, I, I'm I'm leaving. I just want to see if I want to attack this guy for no reason. You want to um, attack him? I'm, I'm leaving. Yeah, I'm leaving. Wait, I feel like this guy's gonna just absolutely destroy us. Uzio, come with come with me, please. Why? Why, are, why am I being left? I'm confused. Are you what? leaving with them? Yes. I, That's wait, why I'm who, saying I'll be leaving who's without behind? you. I want to wait. I want to see what this guy's doing. What is he doing at that? Tomb? He's, he's trying to shove it open. Who's, who's shoving what open? Are you guys leaving? That, that is the question. Yeah. Weird elf person try to push to. Because he is walking over here. What are you guys doing while he's walking? I am getting out of dungeon. Okay. I am tired of I, I shout in elvish, what are you doing? Nakanda. I will be with her forever. Cool story, oh, bro. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to ask him if he has this any. This is the anything. option that I didn't like out of the three. He walks, uh, he walks over to the side here, and he goes, Have you seen Nikanda? No. No, I have not. At this point, have I made yeah, my I, way I'm readying an action the, for a particular thing. thing. Yeah, you, you can ready. You can uh, be basically at the exit here. I'm, yeah, I'm, we're done. I'm fully uh, out. Like, I'm, I'm out of the point. Hey, of we made team. our money. Uzil, <laughs> are you going to... You see your team just leave. I'm... I do not like the fact that this person's still in the room. I am readying an action for if he attempts to do something I don't I don't like. Who's He's going to walk full on, up here. Doing? We're leaving. I am to wander for eternity as long as Nakanda is sealed. Oh, yeah, man. Don't get into that trap. Let's get out of here. You, bro. I'm sorry. Have you seen Nakanda? No. His name is Warlord. We should away. His name because is Daniel. Ma Magic Hand of Magic keeps adding the titles of things. Technical name is Daniel, but I forgot to get his name there. All right. All right. Uzi, are you actually going to leave? Are you going to stand here and watch him wander for eternity? Uh, I'm going to talk with him. I I think. Azil. It's. We we we. It's a We are trying to find Nakanda as well. You should come with us. I could not leave, unluckily. Why can you not leave? I am cursed to wander. Wander why? Can we? 
and have been given yeah, the, the task to hey, wash uh, over Nakanda while the I others see. decapitate Vethmon. Uziel, I, I asked him if he was having a good day, and he, he said he's doing fine. We can leave. Come on. Re remember that one time, like, last week, that I kept asking the NPCs about all the information, and the NPCs said nothing? This is a lot like this particular time. I know that, that Dragon Vein would, uh, would, Ancient Vein would not care enough to metagame, but this might be a good time to exit the perimeter. Come on, yes. Uziel cannot leave this you can. person around this tomb. He does not trust this person. Uziel! If he's well, stuck in here, then he can't do anything outside. How, uh, Will so... ready his weapons. Oh and boy. We're we're out of That's the That's fine. The Uziel we're is out of not the portal, scared. Right? Uziel will you, not guys have, you guys have now. left. You guys we're have gone. Either. Okay, cool deal. I'm casting Meteor Storm on the, the cave entrance. I'm just done. <laughs> I, I am legit casting Meteor Storm. When, when I hear that he's still fighting, I'm going back telepathically. <laughs> like, when I hear that he's... Uh, my intention is to cave in the cave so no one else ever deals with this. Are you going to attack him, Uh, Yeah, so I, I have both my weapons ready. I'm going to basically go Super Saiyan mode with my, uh, uh... If such a thing would exist. With my Radiant Soul! And I'm going to fuck this bitch up. Okay, uh, as you approach him with your sword run out, it is an initiative. Uh, Chip, are you participating? Yeah, I'll help my master. I'm not your master. I am your, your patron, it's fine. Hey, you guys are like Master's soloing this guy. Uzeel, I, I will let you go first here, Mil, Uzeel. Uh, to Mill Frank or whatever the name is. <laughs> I have a fly speed of 60 feet. Can I just start flying? Yup, you guys can start heading home here. <laughs> Uzeel, please, uh, please, it is your turn to start here. All right, I'm going to attack this person. With my sun swords. Does a 16 hit. As you go to swing down, it uses this great sword that has been dragging. It kind of bats it away. Okay, how about... Does a 25 hit? Yeah. As he does this, you slash him across the, uh, the elbow a little bit. Uh, You're up. How much elbow is... damage? One second. I'm trying to. Why is my my divine smite's not working? One second. I see it right there. It's twenty. I, I see uh, your damage when you pop it. No, divine smite. I can cast at whatever f level I feel like. Once I hit, it's not working. Just roll your dice then through the regular means of rolling dice. Okay. Uh, let's see. Divine Smite is an extra 2d8 plus maximum of 5d8. Okay. So let's do 5d8. Wow, that was awful. Uh, uh, let's see. So that, so 14 plus 16 plus. Is there anything else? I don't know. Is there? Oh, yeah. Plus uh, 18 for my. Uh, one second. Let's find it. I'll link it. My radiant soul. Which is what I'm currently doing. Once when you hit, whatever. Yeah, once per turn when I hit, it's plus another 18. Okay. So that would be a total of 48 damage. Radiant. 48? 48 damage. Okay. 
It looks at you with an anger in its eyes. Um, it is now your turn, little imp man. Okay, I'm just gonna cast power word oh. stun on it. So if it has 150 HP or less, it's stunned. Okay. You see, your, you flash these words in front of your words and say whatever you gotta say, and it looks at you and kind of tilts its head a little bit. Okay, as soon as I realize that it's too powerful a creature to be stunned by me, I am out of here. Zip, where are you going? Um, yeah, we we don't need to fight this. Uh, see you later. And I just fly off. Oh, Uzeel, please roll me a constitution saving throw. Disappointed in you, Chip. I, I'm sorry. It hurts when I die. 19. You see this mist coming out of his <clears throat> mouth, and it surrounds you, and you kind of accidentally breathe it in. You are now paralyzed. With a 19? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you you fucked with a, with a warlord. Uh, so, uh... <laughs> A special warlord at that. Um, please roll me another uh, Constitution saving throw. Fifteen. Nothing. He looks at you. He smiles. He brings his great sword up, and he slashes it down. Um, and it is a critical hit since you are paralyzed. Oh, wrong one. No. no, he's got a lot of shit, man. He's gonna he's gonna fuck you up. It doesn't have the right DCs. I can't add it to that, unluckily. I can only edit the rules. Hey, you take 17 damage, slashing damage. But it's going to pull its great sword again and slash you at you again. Uh, that is another 19 damage. Make a... Here, how about this? I'll give you five rounds. Actually, what's your health at? 61? I'll give you three yeah. rounds. Uh, roll me a wisdom saving throw. No, constitution. Sorry, it was constitution. Wisdom is the is the other one for the other person. Not one. You are, you are still... All right, give me one more. Another one. 14. <clears throat> Nine. You guys never Since hear. my party abandoned me. Chip, as you're flying away, you feel your powers dissipate. You feel your connection with your lord gone. Uziel is never heard from again. Uh, does, does Chip have any powers left? Not currently, not until he signs a new contract with somebody. Uh, because if you remember, as we left, I meteor stormed the cave to create a cave in. Yeah. Well, there's no actual, like, thing. It's the part of the Shadow Realm that, uh, gets there. But as he comes out, but, uh, but he's like gonna be hit. literal cave. Yeah, like, well, they, they, the, 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 the portal will still stand. Well, that's fine, but as he gets out, he's going to have a tough time. As, as, he's, as he's getting out, he might be being hit by meteors. You are correct. <laughs> he, he might have a hard... Well, the, the, the meteors are just staying put. I, I've, I've, like, collapsed any sort of entrance. I think when he dies, I'd go back to, like, the... Nope, that's only when you die. Only when you die oh, okay. do you go back. So, so let's recap. At the end, U Uziel is dead. And you are a trapped little uh, hamster ball man. No, he makes it out. He makes it out. Uh, yeah, you could probably find like a little uh, yeah. uh, crack in the rock. I squeeze through the rubble. <laughs> well, because because the, the portal doesn't need there. It just it, the tomb is inside of it technically, but exists still within the shadow the shadow realm. He went through the shadow realm before you went out. And okay, you do see the cave where you assume the tomb collapse. 
and you guys continue your way to Milfark as now a party of four and one almost powerless impotent. Unless I, I heal him. Unless you make a contract with somebody else. But that will end it for the day. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining in for this longer session of a one-shot. Um, tune in for tomorrow for another live stream of Not A One Shot. Um, and stay tuned later on for later in the month for more shows coming up or announcements of more shows coming up. Um, and pay attention to our YouTube because there should be a new show coming up on there called Sunaru. <laughs> Which is based on this. Uh, so thank you guys for joining us. You guys have a wonderful day. Uh, thanks to you players for coming in and uh, putting up with this jar, uh, to this cauldron. That I thought you guys were just going to close the door on. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, thank you guys. You guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy your nights.